Hello and welcome to the National Aquatic Centre for day four of the National Summer Championships for all age groups. And we're here at this uh, wonderful facility in West Dublin. And alongside me is uh, Nick Quinn, an Irish Olympian and a very experienced swimmer from the past and the present. I'm sure you're still swimming, Nick. You yeah, must love it. Thanks very much. I think for sure swimming is one of those sports that stays with you for life. It's, uh, it's actually more than a sport. It's, uh, it's a life skill, so I'm not competing anymore, but I still love to get in the pool and uh, test myself, but it's, it's nowhere near where I was a few, a few years ago. Well, we're about to start a, a very intense sequence of heats this morning in all sorts of disciplines. We're going to start off with the uh, girls' 100 metres freestyle, followed by the boys in 400 metre freestyle. Then we've got the butterfly, first the 200 for girls and then the 200 for boys. And that'll be followed by the breaststroke, the really quick breaststroke, which I'm sure you'll be looking forward to, Nick, uh, the 50 metre breaststroke. And then we'll be finishing off this morning with the girls' 100, 100 metre backstroke and the boys' 100 metre backstroke. So an awful lot of heats to get through. And once they start, they will not stop. No, absolutely. It's uh, fast and furious. It's quick fire. They they do overhead starts, so the swimmers won't be getting out of the water in between races, so they'll come quick, thick and fast, but it should be a really good accession. The women's 100 free, men's 400 free, really good events, and as you said, that 50 breaststroke, we'll see a big contrast in styles compared to the 200 breaststrokes we saw last night. Higher rate, higher tempo, um, real splash and dash, so exciting event this morning. Over 850 swimmers are competing this week, and we start off with heat one of 11 in the 100 metres freestyle for girls. And uh, in this first heat, you can see it's Shiva Brady from Lisburn. It's uh, Shona Ferris in lane three for Black Rock. It's Dulcie Bowden from Lee in lane four. Anna Van Wijnen from Streamline Swimming Club in lane five. Amy Sheridan from the local NAC club in lane six. And Dervla Brady from Limavady in lane seven. And generally speaking, all of these uh, early heats will be for mostly swimmers between the age of 15 and 18. And then as we get to the later heats in each discipline, we get more into the elite swimmers. Yeah, absolutely. So they generally seed the heats. So the last three heats are seeded. So that's the top 30 swimmers. And they'll go from fastest from lane four outwards to lane nine and lane zero. Whereas in these earlier heats, everyone is stacked together. So actually the heat sessions, you can get some really, really close races because everyone in the earlier heats are very similar in time. So we're just about ready to start here. Fastest in this heat in uh, times already recorded this year is Dulcie Bowden in lane four with a 107.68. And away we go in this 100 meters freestyle for girls. Heat one of 11. You see the girls in the middle lanes there getting off to a good start driving off the blocks, using the underwaters. That's such an important, in all fly back and freestyles, to using those underwaters, getting the most out of them and powering through the breakout of your stroke. So really good to see those girls breaking out really strong as they're coming to 50 meters here. Dulcie Bowden taking it out, followed by Anna Wynan in lane five, and in lane three, it's Shona Ferris from Black Rock. Pretty close on that first turn. 0.2 of a second between Dulcie and Anna there at the first 50, 31.5 to 31.7, so a really tight race for this first race in the morning. And it's going to be close here between the girls in lanes four and five. Dulcie Bowden, the 15-year-old from Lee Swimming Club, and Anna Van Wijnen from Streamline Swimming Club. It's going to be lane four, though, that takes the honours. And Dulcie Bowden touches at home in 105.17, which is couple of seconds better than her best this year yeah that's what it is we have some uh, the para athletes in this in this race as well so they'll have their own pbs and they'll have raced some of these will have raced at world para championships earlier on in the summer so they'll be using this to see if they can go any faster summer is when the last your, your peak you're aiming to peak in the summer of racing so they'll be looking to improve on all their times shiva brady coming home in lane two followed by dervla brady in lane seven and a big round of applause from a, a big crowd here this morning. It's only 8.45, but uh, swimming folk get up early and they train early and they swim early. Absolutely, 8.45, that's a, that's a lion for most swimmers. Uh, a lot of them are up at five, half five or before, so 8.45 is do very doable. 
straight on to heat number two. And it's Kieran Dowling from Trojan in lane zero. It's Lucy Greenstate from Limerick in lane one. Cassinia Nita from Nina in lane two. Vittoria McLean from Trojan in three. The Italian swimmer Alessia Mancini in lane four. And Katie Mann from the Brompton Swimming Club in England in lane five. Eleanor Driscoll from ESB in six. Keila Flanagan from Athlone in seven. Bridget Kenny from Sharks in eight. And finally, Ruby Swinburne from Dolphin in lane nine. And the fastest in this is the Italian Alessia Mancini with a 104.63. But all the times in this heat between 104 and 107, so they're fairly evenly matched on their form this year. Yeah, absolutely. That's what I'm saying. These heats can be really tight together. All the swimmers are on the same similar, similar entry times, so you can get some really close races. Girl in lane nine, Ruby Swinburne made a good start, but it's the... Uh, the girls in the centre, as you'd expect, who are just stretching away as we head down the first leg. Yeah, Katie Mann in lane five is looking really strong. Through 35 metres, looks like she's going to turn first here at 50. She's really utilising her kick as she's gone down this first 50. It's actually Bridget Kenny, 30.49 in lane eight. And Keela Flanagan in lane seven with a 30.8, so it's pretty close. It's really hard to call this between all of the girls right across the pool here. Katie Mann, the 15-year-old from the Brompton Swimming Club, maybe just ahead of the Sharks girl, Bridget Kenny, with that distinctive maroon cap and the Sharks on either side. And also finishing fast in lanes two and three are Cassini Anita and Vittoria McLean. Who's going to get the touch? It's lane number five. It's Katie Mann who wins that one. Cassini Anita in second place in lane two with a really good second split. And Bridget Kenny came home third in lane eight. Yeah, absolutely. Brilliant split there in lane two to bring it home really quickly. Uh, she wasn't inside the top three at 50, but was able to pace that race really well and was pulled through the girls to get second place. But Katie Mann there getting the win in that second heat of this women's 100 freestyle. Brilliant swim by all those girls. Into heat three then. It's Emma Corkery from the Splash World Sharks in lane zero. It's Laura Cassede-Nage from New Ross in lane one. Ellie Campbell from Trojan in two. Eva Walsh from Temple Logan three. Katie Proudlove from the Brompton Swimming Club in lane four. Katie Prunty from Slaney in five. Ruby Marley from Temple Logan in six. Kira Doherty, Clara Doherty from Carrick Finns in seven. Leisha DC from Sunday's Well in eight. And Megan Diamond from Ards in lane nine. Start so important in a 100 meter race. Isn't it, Nick? Absolutely. Um, making sure you're carrying as much power, as much momentum, and holding that through the dive, through the breakout. Those underwaters that we spoke about are so important. That first 15 metres can uh, really help your race if you've got a good 15, first 15. Every girl in this race has registered a 104 this year. All of them, 104. So it's a really, really closely matched race based on form. And they are very much in a line as they come to the turn. It's just lane five. Katie Prunty, 30.28. Megan Diamond in lane nine on the far side, second and 30.32. And just behind her, Clara Doherty in lane seven. This is the great thing about heats is that everyone is so close together that any one of these girls could get their hands on the wall first and win this. It just does look like maybe lane five, Katie Prunty, or maybe even lane two here. And lane two finishing Trojan. very fast. Ellie Campbell, the 15 year old from Trojan. Can she keep it going? Yes, it's Ellie Campbell who touches the wall first in 32.91. Just ahead of, well that was her split, 103.62. Just ahead of Ava Walsh in lane three. And Katie Prunty, well she was swum out of it there. She only finished in third place with Clara Doherty in fourth. Really strong swimming from Ellie, really impressed there. She got her head down, went to straight arm freestyle for that last 50 metres which we saw in the finals last night for some of the senior guys. So for a young girl to be doing that, really impressive. And here we go with heat number four of 11 in the uh, girls' 100 metres. Mia Randall from Temple Oak in lane zero. Maya Nippelock from Larne in one. Aline Lund of NAC in two. Neve Walsh from uh, Glenalbin in three. Amy Russell in the fast lane, Balamina. Uh, lane five is uh, Jessica Robson from Lisburn. Wexford's Ro Roisin Lawless in lane six. Sarah O'Connell from Mullingar in lane seven. Sophie Doran from Larne in eight. And Anya Murphy Murray from Longford in lane nine.
Really strong start in lane seven from Sarah O'Connell. She's got a really high tempo, really driving with her legs, driving with her hips as she's swimming. And she's going to turn in first here at 50 meters in it. 29 Wow, that's four. close. Only a few hundred separating the first three. O'Connell, Lawless, and Doran. This is really tight. Looks like the race is over at the other side of the pool, but it is really tight across all of these girls here. Lanes five, six, seven, eight, and nine, just slightly ahead. And now coming through in lane four as well is uh, Amy Russell from Ballymena. Who's gonna get the touch here? And it's five, it's Jessica Robson. 103.41 by three tenths of a second ahead of Anne Anya Murray from in lane nine representing Oh, it's a, a really, really good race that. Yeah. Eileen Lund in third place. And that's 0.4 and 0 0.1, 0 0.2 faster than their entry times. It's hard sometimes to get in and swim those PBs if they're faster than your PBs in the morning time. So really, really good swim there from Jessica to be half a second faster than her entry time. Okay, heat five. Gloria Tosti from Italy in lane zero. Hannah Mulroy from uh, Trojan in lane one. It's Tesliuk from Cormorant in two. Began from Trojan in three, Herbst from Mandeville in four, Byrne from Slaney in five, Lee from Coolmine in six, Paselli from Italy in seven, Kostivka from the NAC in eight, and McGrath from Dolphin in nine. Really good start from this Avita in lane eight uh, from the NAC club. So she's well used to racing in this pool. Squat looked really strong and powerful coming down this first 50. Her rate's not too high, but she's really connected with the water. And she's turning, she's turning third. In first place is Shiona Began with 30.3. So we'll see how these girls bring it home in the second 50 here. It's all about pushing in this huge effort. They've got to try and get at least into the one, two to maybe have a chance of getting through to the finals. It's lane three who's got the lead as they pass us here. It's uh, Shona Began from Trojan, just ahead of lane five, Ava Byrne from Slaney. And lane three is going to get it. It's Shona Began who gets it in 102.26. Second is uh, Ava Byrne, 103.41. Third was Kate Lee from Coolmine, 103.92. 102.2 is a really strong time there from Shona Began. Like, that's almost a second taken off her, uh, more than a second taken off her entry time. So that's really strong swimming for a morning heat on day four. So I'm sure she'll be pleased with that and be looking, hopefully, if she gets into a final to go even faster this evening. And here comes heat number six of 11, Rachel Marshall from Trojan in zero, Amy Dawson from Lisburn City in one, and also from Lisburn City, it's Tony Jemison in two. From Lurgan, it's Grace Cochran in three. In lane four, it's Neva Kenny from Aer Lingus. Uh, in lane five, it's Ashling Marriott from Swan. Lane six, Eva Bailey from Ballymena. Lane seven, Sophie Nolan from Terenure. Lane eight, Avian Ivory from Asgard, and Antonina Sek from Sunday's Well in lane number nine. Good even start for all the girls as they try to power their way down this first leg of the 100 metres freestyle. Good start in lane two there from Tony Jameson. But they're really even as they go through this first 25. It's so important in a 100 freestyle that you don't spin too quick too early. You want to get through that first 35 metres feeling strong, feeling powerful, but knowing that you still have some energy once you come off the wall in that second 50. Lane five getting to the end first, Ashling Marriott in a 29.88, that's the fastest we've had so far, Grace Cochran in second, and it's Neve Kenny in lane four in third place. We know Grace Cochran's gonna finish strong in this second 50. She won a gold in the 400 freestyle yesterday, so she's gonna be looking to bring this 100 freestyle home very fast in the second 50 here. The 15 year old from Lurgan, and the 16 year old from Swan Leisure, Ashling Marriott seems to just have the edge in lane five. Can she get the touch? Yes, it's Ashling Marriott with a 102.61. Eva Bailey in lane six got second with a really good second split. And Grace Cochran in third place at 102.94. That's strong swimming from all those girls. Really tight across the board. This, as you see, they're all so close together. So, some really, really good races here as we're moving through we the heat. Here we go with heat number seven. Alice Ledgerwood from Trojan in lane zero. Neva Hearn from Kilkenny in one. 
It's Sunny van Jarsveld from Tux, South Africa, in lane two. Lily Maguire from Lee in lane three. Cara O'Toole from Ealing in lane four. Shannon Byrne from Bangor in five. Isla Henry from Lisburn in six. Ava McNamara, her teammate from Lisburn in seven. From Limerick in lane eight, it's Liana Ledan and Hannah Corkery from Splash World in nine. And of course, there are some dropouts. There's nobody in lane eight, so obviously uh, Ledan isn't swimming here. Great straight start in lane one. Kilkenny is Neva Hearn swimming really well, really strong, powerful dive breakout. Popped up really well uh, into the first few cycles of her strokes. And she's uh, maybe a half a body length ahead of the field as they come to 35 metres. All of these girls with times of 102 this year and all aged between 16 and 21. It's quite a mixed age group in this heat. And turning first is Neva Hearn in lane one with a 29.36. Three of them, four of them under 30 seconds. Isla Henry, Caro Toon and Lily Maguire all going under 30. Really great underwaters there from Neva Hearn. You saw it off the dive and you saw it off the turn there again. Three big fly kicks into, the, into our first few cycles, pulling away from the field here in the second 50. The 19-year-old from Kilkenny, Neva Hearn in lane one, on the near side. She's gonna win this heat, no question. Very close for second place between four swimmers in the center of the pool. Ahern gets it, but Shannon Byrne gets second in lane five, and it's Caro Toole in lane four, followed by Isla Henry, 101.25, great swim. Yeah, it's the fastest we've seen this morning, and that's the second faster than her entry time, so really good swimming there from Neve. Really impressed with her utilizing her fly kicks. So strong, so powerful, really helping her off the start and the turn there in that 100 freestyle. The black and amber cap, so distinctive. Kilkenny hurlers didn't win on Sunday, but the Kilkenny swimmers are certainly doing good in the pool this week. So we're up to heat number eight of 11. We're getting into the really fast swimmers now. And it's uh, Elisa Logan from Banbridge in zero, Maeve McLean from City of Derry in one, Cathy O'Sullivan from Splash World in two, Amelia Uri from Bangor in three, Kira William from NAC in four, Kennedy from Galway in five, Daffy from Brompton in six, Mar Cucci from Italy in seven, Buckley from Clonmel in eight, and Kidney from Sunday's Well in lane nine. Great start there from lane nine, Isabel Kidney, the Sunday Well swimmer. Uh, really driving through the first 25 metres. Looks like the rest of the girls are caught up with her now, but she had a great start. Cathy O'Sullivan from Splash World in lane two is going really well, as is the girl in lane one. That's Maeve McLean from City of Derry. And it is lane two that just got the touch, Cathy O'Sullivan. And there's four swimmers under 30 here. Marcucci from Italy in lane seven is second, McLean third and Uri fourth. Cathy O'Sullivan in lane two is looking really strong coming down this second 50. Nice long technique, she doesn't look like she's overrating it. Eleonora Mercucci from Italy is strong, but in lane number two, it's O'Sullivan who might just be the best of the Irish in this heat. Who's gonna get the touch? It's the Italian, Marcucci from O'Sullivan and Neve Kennedy in third place with Elisa Logan in lane zero with a fine time of 102.57. That was a really impressive second 50 from Neve Kennedy in lane five there, 31-4 on that second 50. Fastest, 50, fastest second 50 split of the whole race. So really well paced race for her there to get third in that. Last three heats now in the women's 100 meters freestyle. Heat number nine and it's uh, Nimoni Rogers from Trojan in lane zero. Molly O'Brick from Asgard in one. Jones from Port Marnock in two. Bailey from New Ross in three. Naomi Trait from Kilkenny Swimming Club in lane four. Ellie Donegan from Larne in five. Pino from Italy in six. O'Shea from Dolphin in seven. Noble from Asgard in eight. And Ellie Falls from Larne in lane nine. Fastest here, three girls under a minute in lanes three, four and five. Great underwaters there from Ellie Dunnigan from Larne, but Naomi Trait here in lane four, the fastest qualifier or fastest seeded swimmer into this first of our seeded heats. Really powerful down this first 50. Using that straight arm freestyle as she's coming into this turn, really utilizing that power and turning in at 28.32. So that's the fastest we've seen so far this morning. All nine girls are under 30 seconds in this heat. Really powerful swimming. And it's the Kilkenny girl who is powering away, Naomi Trait. But she's being closely pursued to her right in lane number five by Ellie Donegan. And to her left, Leah Bailey from New Ross. 
Yeah, Naomi just looks like she's just pulling ahead of the rest of this field on this last 25, using that straight arm technique, no breathing into the wall there, and finishing in a 59-1-0. First one to break a minute, 59-10 for Naomi Trait. Roberta Pino from Italy in second, just over the minute mark, with the same time as Ellie Donegan in third, Megan Jones also in a very good time in fourth. That is the first of our seeded heats, and we move on to heat 10 of 11, so penultimate heat here. And it's Zofia Quigley from Ards in lane zero, Olivia Miskelly from Banbridge in one, it's Kisilova from the Czech Republic in lane two, Grace Conroy from Lisbon in three, then we've got three South African swimmers, Wiedemann, Delange and Coetze in lanes four, five and six, Alan from Terenure in seven, Nulti from Swilly in eight, and Sargent from Chelsea and Westminster in lane nine. Yeah, a really strong start from Inga Wilden from Tuck Swimming Club, the Pretoria Club, the South African Club. These three swimmers will know each other very well, will have used to racing each other in training, so they'll be trying to beat each other here in the heats of this 100 freestyle. Wiedemann and Delange turning first in lanes four and five with 27.06. Very fast first 50 for these girls here. They're really pushing the pace. They want to put down a marker in these heats. Best of the Irish is in lane three, that's uh, Grace Conroy from Lisburn City. But real power swimming here from the South African girls and it's Inga Wiedemann, the 22 year old, who's gonna win this from Catlin Delange in lane five. Both those girls you could see really using their kick on this last 10, 15 meters, getting their head down and finishing really strong. Really good second split from Grace Conroy, 31.60, to give her third place ahead of Michaela Kisilova in fourth. Now the final heat of the uh, women's 100 meters, and it's uh, Jane, Janie Coetzer from Tux in lane zero, Brogan O'Hara from Lee in one, Grace Hodgins from Trojan in two, Kellyanne Brown from NAC and Erin Reardon from the same club in three and four. Danielle Farrell from Sligo in five. Rosalie Phelan in six. Hannah McMenamin from Aer Lingus in seven. Anna Feenan from Sunday as well in eight. And Hazel Bentley from Asgard in nine. Erin here has got the fastest entry time by two seconds over the rest of this field. She's got international experience having raced on relays at Europeans. So she'll really be looking to put her mark on this race and put a strong time in the heats. And she's looking good down the first 25 metres. Lanes four and five leading it out. And as you say, Erin Reardon looking the class act. Can she keep it going though? Really fast first 50 from her. She's definitely gonna get the touch in 28-18. Yeah, really, really strong first 50 there. She's breathing every four, so she's not like, she's not using her oxygen. She's not gone to breathing every two yet. So just in control during that first 50. Danielle Farrell from Sligo is pushing her all the way. It's a great swim from the Sligo girl. Really good swimming from Aaron here. She's breathing every four on the second 50 as well. That makes this race really hypoxic. It's really hard to breathe every four the whole way. Got her head down is going to finish first here in 58.50, which is a strong performance for the heat swim. Not her best performance, but still wins the race. And Daniel Farrell with a great swim, 58.83, just three hundreds behind with Kellyanne Brown in lane three. In third place, Janie Coates are following in fourth. Yeah, Danielle really pushed her, pushed Erin the whole way through that race. Uh, I was really interested watching Erin's breathing technique. You watch these top class 100 freestylers and they all have a specific breathing pattern and figure out what works for them. Some of them will breathe every two, some will breathe every four, or some might breathe four in the first 50 and then, or two in the first 50 and then try and go to four on the way back. But Erin was really consistent the whole way through that race and breathing every four, which is impressive to see. Okay, we're moving on swiftly to the 400 meters freestyle for boys. And in the first heat, there's just five to go. Owen Lynham from Athlone in lane two. Jake Logan from Banbridge in lane three. Tom O'Rourke from Athlone in lane four. Dylan Lunny in lane five for Lee. And Antonio Casanti from Coolmine in lane number six. All of these boys 15 years old, and they're all between 448 and 451 would be their season's best. Yeah, so as we saw last night in the women's or the girls 400 freestyle, this is a really tactical race. It's not about being first to 50, it's about who can settle into their rhythm, who can hold those splits as consistent as they can throughout the race, while at the same time always knowing that 
you have that little bit extra for a push, especially if you get into a tight race in the last 50, 100 meters. It's a bit like in the old days when there used to be double headers at Croke Park and they'd have the hurling on before the football. The football always looked really slow. <laughs> And it's a bit like that. The 400 meter swimmers look like they're swimming really slow compared to 100 meters. But yeah, as you say, the split times are key. Yes, absolutely. And I think uh, I think the 400 freestyle swimmers would uh, would argue the point that the 400s are definitely the tougher event. So you'll often hear swimmers arguing about which is the hardest event. And 400 freestyle is because it's such a leg dominated event. And to be a good 400 freestyler, you have to push quite early and hold on. It's easier to swim a 400 freestyle if you're swimming slow, but swimming a 400 freestyle fast the whole way through is a tough, tough event. Tom O'Rourke with the lead at 100 metres, 104.19. Certainly made a great start, the 15-year-old uh, from Athlone. The other four very much in a line for second place. Yeah. Owen in lane two is looking really long. He looks stretching out at the front of his stroke. Doesn't look like he's overrating it, which is, which is what you don't want to see in a 400 freestyle. You know if someone is rating it too much too early, they could pay for it later in the race. Good split there from Owen Lynham, 35-87. The only one under 36 on that third leg. Yeah. I'm liking Owen's stroke here. He, you can see he's really long at the front. He's holding his hand out. He's not slipping through the water. So he's looking good at this stage, but it is definitely Tom O'Rourke. Two at Lone Swimmers in first and second here. So they'll again be used to racing each other. We'll be training partners, I'm sure. So we'll be looking to get uh, see who gets their hand on the wall first after 200 meters. Splits 35-85 against 36-63, so Tom O'Rourke just uh, speeded up a little bit there, probably sensing the fact that his teammate was coming up close. Yeah, Tom is looking good here in this third hundred. Um, How aware are you of the other swimmers in the pool when you're concentrating on your own stroke in a 400 freestyle because it is that little bit slower and you're breathing more frequently like we saw with Erin in the 100 freestyle there she's breathing every four so she's not breathing so often to see whereas in a 400 freestyle like this you're breathing maybe every three so I think Tom here is breathing every three so he's bilateral breathing he's breathing to both sides so he'll be able to see that he's ahead on either side of him there so it's a little bit slower but at the same time you can't get caught up in what someone else is doing. You have to swim your race to your strengths and then try and execute that as best you can. So we're coming to the end of 300 metres of this 400 metre heat, the first of seven in this event. And it's still Tom O'Rourke breaking 330 for the uh, 300 and a split of 36. Yeah, he's been pretty consistent, 35s, 36s throughout this race. So Santi got under 37 good. there and so too did uh, Jake Logan. It's a really tight race here for the actually second second place in this first 400 freestyle between those four guys in, in lanes 2, 3, 5 and 6. But Tom O'Rourke from Atlone is definitely, take, he took this race out, race out strong and he's held it the whole way through. So we'll see if he has a kick on this last 50 metres here. Tom with the best this year of 4.48.36, which is only marginally better than uh, Dylan Lunley in lane five and Jake Logan in lane number three. 36.23 split there from Tom. So let's see what he can do now with 25 metres to go. He's picked up his race. Yeah, quite an intense improvement in his stroke coming to the last 15 metres. Can he finish in a season's best? That's the question. 4.48.36 is what he's trying to beat. He's going to smash it. He'll be well under that. 4.38.86. 10 seconds better than his best. That's absolutely brilliant. In second place in lane six, Antonio Casanti with a really good final split of 34.47. Owen Lynham in third in lane two. See, three of, those, three of those guys had a 34 final split, so a 33 final split, so that's really strong swimming from them. Uh, but Tom O'Rourke there, 10 second improvement from his entry time is massive. Here comes he too, fast and furious Alex Barrett from Black Rock in lane zero. Dominic French from Sligo in lane one. Mihir Ramshandani from the Hamilton Dubai team in lane two. Daniela Tedesco from Ealing in three. 
Sebastian Berryman from Bangor in four and the teammate Alexander Newman in five. Riversdale Otters represented by Shea Monaghan in lane six. Ryan McDowell from Bangor in seven. Kieran Waterson from Bluefin in eight. And Kyle Kelly from Sligo in lane number nine. Sebastian Barryman in lane four, really using his kick early in this race, really driving. You can see that splash off the back of his feet there. He's really using his kick down this first 50, so he'll want to settle into his rhythm as we go through this second 50 here now. Four sub 30s on that first leg. Shea Monaghan in lane six, just ahead of Kieran Waterson with Sebastian Berryman in third. Much yeah. closer race this time. Much closer race. As we said, as we move through these heats, all of these entry times will be quite close. So especially in a 400 freestyle where different tactics come in, you could see people moving through the race at 200 metres or 300 metres. Uh, so it'll be interesting to watch these, how these swimmers progress through this 400. Lane 8, Kieran Waterson from Blue Finn is the one who turns first. But just edged out by Daniela Tedesco who had a 32.86 there. The only one under 33 seconds. Really good second 50 from him yeah if he can hold 32s he'll be swimming very well so he looks quite good here he's not overrating it he's holding his stroke out at the front he's breathing every two looks quite strong but all of these guys now after 100 meters have found their rhythm and have just settled into their strokes and as we talked about they're going to try and maintain those consistent splits throughout this race tedesco from the ealing swimming club so not eligible for the national championships but he's over here to gain experience and he's certainly getting it here. Some really good competition. Lane number eight, Kieran Waterson with a, another fine split. And it's uh, Mihir Rapshandani in lane number two who've turned in third. Yeah, Kieran out in lane eight is doing really well over there. He's breathing away from the rest of these guys going this direction in the pool. So he can't see. He's looking across into the stands, breathing every every two so when he comes down the next on the next 50 he'll be breathing into the pool so he'll be able to see who he's racing tedesco in three and waterson in eight great split from alex barrett in lane zero with a 34 81 comfortably the fastest in that fourth 50. yeah that's a strong split coming through that 200 meters so we need to keep an eye on lane zero here lane zero is finishing quite fast the one on the near side Alex Barr from Black Rock Swimming Club really moved on that 50 and he's put himself in contention as we come up to this 250 metre mark. Still looks like Tedesco in three, but Barrett may be getting the second place and he does in lane zero with Ramshandani up to third and Newman down to fourth. Watterson has faded a bit, he's gone back to fifth. All of those top four swimmers all splitting 35 points there. Nothing really separating these guys. So it really come down to who has that little bit of a kick in this last 100 meters. So lane three leading it out. Daniela Tedesco who's been there from the start. 441 his best this year. In second place in lane zero Alex Barrett from Black Rock. And between them it's Ramchand Danny from Hamilton Dubai in lane two. Yeah. Danielle there turned in a 34.9. He's the only swimmer in the field to turn 30, un, sub 35 in that 50. But really watch Alex Barrett here in lane zero is not letting him get away at all. And Barrett is uh, breathing to his right, so he's not really aware of what's going on around him, just swimming his own race. Yeah, but he'll be able to, when he's breathing to his right on the way back in this last 50, he'll be able to see Danielle Tedesco in lane three and know that it's a good race on. So it should be an exciting last 50 here turning together and it's Alex Barrett in lane zero who's got the lead with the faster 50 that time against Daniela Tedesco first time he's been headed in the race Mihir Rapchandani with a great swim in lane two and Alex Newman in fourth you can see these guys are kicking now they've gone to their legs Barrett in lane zero is really powering away on this last 50 right here underneath us look at him driving now he's getting his head down wonderful swim from the Black Rock boy 445 62 his best this year He's going to obliterate that time. What a finish. 4.31.68 for Barrett. Ramchandani got second. Tedesco faded a little to go back to third place. And it's Alex Newman in lane five who got fourth with Waterson, the early leader, back in fifth. You talk about pace in a race. Barrett and Ramchandani there both paced that race so well. A 32-1 for Barrett to finish that race off strong. But a 31-8 for Ramchandani just to come out in that last 50 
to get ahead of Daniel Tedesco, who was the early leader and led that race. So really, really strong pacing. And that's where you see in these 400 freestyles how important that is. 14 second improvement on his uh, season's best time. That is That is remarkable. massive. And I think he'll have a good chance or he'll be hoping to get another crack at that this evening. OK, we're moving on to heat number three of these seven 400 metres freestyle for boys and men. And in this heat, there's Dara Horgan in lane zero from Limerick, Elias Soans from Hamilton, Dubai in lane one, Eamon Smith from Longford in two, Michael O'Driscoll from Sunday as well in three, David Coyle from Erlingus in four, the Czech Republic re represented by David Krakowska in lane five, Ben Merrigan from Dolphin is in six, Dara Rusk from Athlone in seven, Odie Melia from Tume in eight, and Mark Gill from Trojan in lane nine. Good, good first 35 metres from Michael O'Driscoll in lane three. The Cork swimmer from Sunday Wells Swimming Club. Uh, it looks really strong here. looks really technically quite nice. See that really high elbow catch? Uh, it looks really good. To, but it's actually lane four. David Coyle from Erlingus turning first. And Dara Horgan in lane zero, who has made a great start with a 29.65. First five all under 30 for that first leg. Yeah, again, this is where you see it. These really tight races and these... Uh, earlier heats of the 400 freestyle and all of the heats, all of the events, these earlier heats can be really exciting races. Dara Rusk from Athlone is swimming well in lane 7, but coming through now in lane 4 is David Coyle from Erlingus, closely pursued by Michael O'Driscoll and in lane 0, Dara Horgan. And it's Coyle who gets the touch just ahead of Rusk in lane 7, O'Driscoll in lane 3 is 3rd, Horgan in lane 0 is 4th. Yeah, David Coyle is looking really strong here. He's got quite a high tempo for that 400 freestyle, but if he's able to hold on to it, it'll be very, very good. He's really driving with each of those strokes, each of those catches. Is it my imagination? He looks quite small. Yeah, so when you're looking at swimmers, you're actually always looking to the swimmers to look bigger in the water than they actually are. Because if they're bigger in the water, they're able to use all of their like range, all of that length. Rusk with the best split there to give him the lead at 150. A, one, a 33.26 ahead of a 33.83. Lane seven there, Dara Rusk is doing really well. He's really, look at that high elbow. He's got really driving out, stretching out in front, comparing the two strokes there from David Coyle and Erlingus and Rusk in lane seven. Rusk is really efficient, really long out at the front of his stroke, really high elbow and catching water, but it is, David Coyle turning just in front by 0.19 of a second, 209.9 to 210.1. So we've got a real good race on here. Yeah, and two different styles. One quite a quick tempo, the other very graceful and languid. Yeah. And that's what they say. It's the graceful one who is uh, just stretching away a little bit. Dara Russ, the 17 year old from Athlone, with the best of 436 this year. Coming to the 250 mark in this 400 meter heat, and it's Rusk who turns first from Coyle in lane four in second place, and they're just a little bit ahead of Michael O'Driscoll in lane three. Yeah, 0 .4, 0 0.7 of a difference on that 50 between Rusk and David Coyle, so Rusk just taking control of this race. That really nice high elbow technique that you see from there is really just helping him. It just means that when he's swimming like that in the earlier part of the race, he's conserving energy, and that's just all in the bank as they're coming into this last 100 here now. We actually see, I see um, Michael Driscoll from Sunday Wells, who I commented on his technique earlier on in the race. He's really powering through here as we come through 100 meter marks. And he's splitting at 33.88. That's the fastest split from Michael Driscoll of anyone in the field on that 100 there, on that 50. So watch out for him in this last 100. He's certainly caught up with Coyle in lane four, but out in front in lane number seven is Dara Rusk from Athlone. He looks to be the best in this heat but a, a really good second 200 from the man in lane three, Rusk Michael is, O'Driscoll. Rusk has really picked up his rate right now. He's, he's really working a, little, a lot harder than he was in the first 100 meters. But sometimes when you try and pick up that rate, you don't actually stay as connected as the water. So that's when you have to trust your technique, trust the work that you've done, trust your training, even when it gets down to this in the last 35 meters of a 400 freestyle. Well, those three well away from the swimmer in lane zero, Darrow Horgan, who's in fourth place, also from the Limerick Swimming Club. But it looks like it's going to be lane three, and Michael Driscoll from Sunday as well, the 16-year-old, really who's going to come in second. But out there in lane number seven, Darrow Rust from Athlone, 
just getting the touch. Brilliant final 50 from O'Driscoll, not quite enough. Coyle in third place with a 34 split. Dara Horgan in fourth in lane zero and Eamon Smith coming in fifth in lane two. Yeah, a really gutsy swim from Rusk there in lane seven to take that race out relatively early and quite hard and hold on. But Michael O'Driscoll split the race really well. Like I watched his technique in the first hundred and I was really impressed and that just helped him on that last hundred. He was the fastest last hundred by a long way there and that see him come right through the fields and come second there in that 400 freestyle and heat. Both of them had a, an improvement of 10 seconds on their personal best. So here we go, this is lane uh, heat number four of seven and it's Jacob Senes from Ealing in lane zero. Alexander Pushka from Hamilton, Dubai in lane one. David Langley from Beckenham in lane two. Cormac Ryan from Trident in three. Zucchini from Italy in four. Ferry from Lisburn in lane five. Tristan Egan from Erlingus in six. Christian Kasadai Naj from New Ross in seven. Killian Langton from Sligo in eight. And from Limerick, Angus Cook in lane nine. Yeah, it looks like it's in the middle lanes here in lane lane three for Cormac Ryan and Michael Zucchini from Italy here in lane four and leading to this first 50. And it is Zucchini, Michaela Zucchini in lane four who turns first in 28.44 and there are four swimmers under 29 seconds on that first split. Yeah, we can see here this is the last of the non-seeded heats. So we can really see these guys are getting stronger, getting more powerful. And you can see those fast first 50 spits from right across the board here. Michele Zucchini, part of a very strong Italian team that have come over to these championships. Lovely stroke from the uh, swimmer in lane number three, Cormac Ryan from the Trident Swimming Club. Top four swimmers all there, splitting a 32 point on that 50. So really now it's about who settles into their rhythm, who can maintain as close to the, that 32s uh, throughout this middle 200 of this 400 freestyle race. Very close between Zucchini in lane four and Ryan in lane three. And Ryan just gracefully yes. touching away from the field. Yeah, I think uh, you're looking at this race right now and it looks like Cormac Ryan, between these two swimmers, Cormac looks like he's the one who's conserving most energy and will potentially benefit him as we come into the last hundred. But he's just pulled away, pulled ahead on that 50 there. So he's Keep an eye on Killian Langton from Sligo. He had a very good split, the best split in that last 50 in lane eight. Yeah. And he's coming right up now into second place. But Again. it's Ryan gracefully heading towards the 200 mark, the halfway point. Yeah, these two guys, both those goes, Killian and Cormac in lane eight and lane three. And Langton with another great split, 33-30 against Ryan's 34. But Christian Charadinage has done well in that last 30, 50 with also a sub 34. Yeah, all of these swimmers, the top three swimmers here, all look really relaxed still in this race. They're all quite efficient. And we'll see now as we come into 150 meters to go that that rate will start to pick up, start to creep up and then he'll be able to hold on to the integrity of their stroke. He'll get the hand on the wall first. Sharadai Naj is turning in parallel with Cormac Rain. There's nothing between them. Look at that. 0.6 of a second at 250. Langton just slipping down to third. Langley in fourth. Yeah, lane seven, lane seven Christian there. 33 point in that split. The only guy to split a 33 there, so. This is really good. This is going to be a good race between these three, three swimmers as we come in to the last 15 metres at the 300 metre mark. 19-year-old Sharadai Naj from New Ross, best this year of 4.31. Turning first in lane seven. Second, very close between Killian Langton and Cormac Rin. Less than 0.4 of a second between them. And the best split there was Sharadai Naj, who's stretching away. Yeah, he looks really powerful, really impressed with his turn there. His rotation around the wall was really quick. Sometimes in a 400 freestyle, it's easy to get a little bit sloppy with your turns, but he was really driving his feet over, driving his heels over into that fast turn. So watch him now as we come through into this last 50. Final turn, Sharadai Naj turning nicely. 32.88 his last split. Killian Langton, 33.27. Cormac Rin, 34.67. I think the one, two, three is decided here and Sharadai Naj could post a really impressive time. Yeah, he really is looks control, in control in this race. 
really powerful around those walls and into the breakout and just maintaining the integrity of his stroke here. He's not trying to force it, he's not trying to rush it, he's trusting his training, trusting what he's done and he's going to get his hand on the wall first here. So it's the new Ross Hummer, the 19 year old Karadai Naj who gets first, just ahead of Killian Langton from Sligo who pushed him all the way and Cormac Rin from the Trident Swimming Club in third place. Yeah. Very impressive, 4.22, 43. That's nine seconds better than his best. Yeah, Ingus Cook there, 31.6. The only swimmer to bring, break 32 on the last 50. So really fast finish there from Ingus in lane nine, the team swimmer. So on we go to the next heat, heat five of the boys 400 meter freestyle and it's Alexander McAleer from Galway in lane zero. Emmett Cousins from New Ross in lane one, Daniel Harvey from Ireton in lane two, Kean Foley from New Ross in lane three, Michael Scully from Limerick in lane four, Charlie Cassidy from Dolphin in lane five, Robin Pfeffer from Blue Finn in lane number six, Robert Mullen from Temple Oak in seven, Aidan Cook from Kilkenny in lane eight and Killian O'Loughlin Brophy from Coolmine in lane number nine. So this is actually our uh, penultimate heat up before, the, or before our seeded heats. This is the last of our non-seeded heats. I thought it was the one before, but this is the last of our non-seeded heats. So we're going to have another very close race here between all of these swimmers. There's four seconds separating all nine of them, so it could be a really tight one. Charlie Casty with the first touch, ahead of Robin Pfeiffer with Daniel Harvey in third. Killian O'Loughlin Brophy not too far behind. And every swimmer there under 30 for the first 50. Lanes five and six. With yeah. the man in lane six, Robin Pfeiffer from Blue Finn, just marginally ahead coming to the end of the first hundred. Yeah, Charlie Cassidy's looking really long as well, really efficient through that first hundred meters. Easy speed, that's what you're looking for, easy speed. And he looks like he's had that through that first hundred meters. And he's now just taking the lead there, and it was 60.56 for the first hundred. Great swim too from the man in uh, lane number nine, Killian O'Loughlin Brophy from Cool Mine, who's in a strong third position at the moment. So five, six and nine, where the action is at the start of this race, but there's a long way to go. There is, and as we've seen, people finish strong, people finish fast, so you, you don't win a 400 freestyle in the first 100 meters, so let's see where they and get here. O'Loughlin Brophy with a 32-41 split, who's gone into first place at the 150 mark ahead of Charlie Cassidy in five and Robin Pfeiffer in six. Yeah. Brophy O'Loughlin in lane nine is having a really, really strong swim through the first half of this 200 meters, two, first 200 meters of this 400 freestyle. But it's those three guys, lane, four, lane five, six and nine are well out in front of the field here. O'Loughlin Brophy, the 16 year old from Cool Mine, getting the turn in 206.7. With a 32 split, the only one under 33 seconds. Yeah, so he's really pushing this middle part of this 240 freestyle. He's pushing that this 100 and the 100 before, really working hard. So he set himself up for a good, a good strong PB here. What his entry time is 427, so he'll be looking to go well under that uh, at this stage. And he's maintaining that lead, breathing to his left, so unaware of what's going on around him. Turns in 239.71, a 33 split, slightly quicker than Robin Pfeiffer. Cassidy in third, Mullen in fourth, Cousins in fifth. Yes, yeah, so all of those, the top five swimmers all split into 33 right there, so they've settled into their rhythm in this, this born of freestyle now. Now they're already starting to think of, all right, what, have I got any legs for this last 100 metres, this last 50? Have I got that extra little bit of a kick? So it'll be interesting to see if, if any of them have that little bit. Charlie Cassie looks comfortable in lane five, so I wouldn't be surprised if he has a bit of a kick to come in this last hundred meters. Just upping his tempo as he comes to the wall, but turning first, it's O'Loughlin Brophy in 3.13.47. A marginally quicker split that time from Pfeiffer, but they're all swimming at roughly the same pace. Yeah, they're all splitting 33s on that last both 50s of the third hundred there, so they hold that 33 in this 50 and then have a kick in the last to come home in a 32 or a 31. That'll be some strong swimming. So, Cool Minds, Killian O'Loughlin Brophy coming to his last turn with 50 to go. And a lead there of, well, just over a second. It's not insurmountable. It's all about whether he's got the stamina to keep going. 
And in lane six, in second place, it's Robin Pfeiffer, who's yeah. maybe closing the back gap slightly. Yeah, Robin Pfeiffer's really pushing hard right here now, so Killian in lane nine is going to have to work hard to hold on, but Charlie Cassidy's not out of it yet. He's driving home really strong with 10 to go here. Yeah, it's lane six, I think. Or will a Lachlan Brophy hang on? It's all on the touch, and it is a Lachlan Brophy, marginally ahead of Pfeiffer, who was almost a second faster in the last 50. Charlie Cassidy got third in lane five. Robert Mullen, fourth. But really good swimming there from Pfeiffer and O'Loughlin Brophy and Cassidy indeed. Really close, yeah. separated by just two tenths of a second. After 400 metres freestyle swimming, after four minutes and 20 seconds, that's uh, not much separating them. Charlie Cassidy had that kick on that last 50. If he was another five metres, he probably would have won that race. Just ran out of room at the end, but really good swimming from the three guys there. OK, the penultimate heat in the 400 metres freestyle for men. And now we're into the elites of this particular discipline and in lane zero it's Nettie Irwin from Dolphin, Marshall Illingworth from the city of Glasgow in lane one, Matthew Hand from Ards in lane two, Evan Bailey from New Ross in three, Nathan Whiffen national champion in April from Larne in lane four, Adam Colgan from Lisburn City in lane five, Danny Morgan from Coolmine in six, Dan Edgar from Lisburn City in seven, Ben David from UCD in eight and Ben Riddle from Ards in lane nine and the fast man here is Whiffen with that 400.81, he'd love to get under that today. Yeah, that four minute barrier mark is one of those real big points that the 400 freestylers are trying to get under, so he'll have that on the back of his mind. And whether he'll be doing, looking to do it this morning or this evening, he'll be looking to put in a solid time this morning. He does look really strong here. Look at how long he is out in front, holding that technique, driving through from his legs, and being powerful but being efficient, and that's the key thing here. Well, he's come through from third or fourth to first at the end of 100 metres. Whiffen turning in 57.62. The split 29.68, the only one under 30. Second, Danny Morgan in lane six. Evan Bailey in lane, lane three here is going to... He's sitting on his shoulder, looks really efficient. Evan has had a fantastic year of racing. He was swam amazingly here in April at Nationals and is just off the back of European Junior Championships a few weeks ago, so he's looking to finish his season off well in this four, with this 400 freestyle, a really strong 100 freestyler, but this 400 is an important event for him too. With him with the fastest split, but Morgan and Bailey, best of the rest, and they're in second and third place. Yeah. Nathan looks like he's just stretching out his lead here as we come up to the halfway point. Got a real strong kick. Driving through at the front of his stroke. Nice high elbow, nice efficient stroke as he turns here at the halfway point. Turns in 158.22, still sub two minutes. The only one under two minutes. Bailey in second in lane three. Danny Morgan in lane six is third. Adam Colgan, fourth. Yeah, Evan looks really, really efficient here now. Nathan's working harder, but Evan is really efficient. Just stroking it through this third hundred of the 400 freestyle. Really strong swimming here from, from, from these guys. It'll be interesting to see what the split is. This is the fifth leg of eight. 30.86 for Whiffen. 31 for Bailey. So uh, Whiffen still slightly extending his lead, but... Uh, it's still manageable. Yeah, for sure, still manageable. He's still holding on to those 30 points. If he can hold on to the 30 point in this 50, 30 point in the next 50, and then a, a big last split at 28.9 or 28, he might get under that four minute barrier mark. Like all class swimmers, he's increasing his tempo as he comes to the turn at 300 meters, just a shade under three minutes. So he's 259.84, so he has to come back in 60.0 to get under that that four minute barrier mark which is which is which is doable but he has to have a last fast last 50 here as we're coming down with 75 to go has he got the strength in his legs has he got the stamina to keep this pace going whiffing from Lauren he's really picked up his tempo here in this last hundred driving into this last turn turning in a 30.33 so he really has to do a sub 30 yep. to get under the four yep. minute barrier definitely possible but he is working hard here the lead being stretched over Evan Bailey from New Ross in lane 3 who's comfortably going to beat his season's best and in lane 6 Danny Morgan in 3rd 
but coming home in Nathan Whiffen. Can he get under that four minute barrier? That is the question. Sprinting to the finish and ah, 359.85 by 15 hundreds. He breaks that four minute barrier and that is a personal milestone. That's a strong swim there from Nathan to get in the heats. To go sub four minutes in the heats is a really, really good swim. That 29.6 finish, Evan Bailey swimming second, 30.3, and Danny Morgan at 408.01. So 405.02 for Evan and 408.01, which is good swimming for the heats from both of those guys. They've, I know Evan has definitely had a busy program, so he'll be back tonight looking to race that again. So now the final heat of seven in this 400 meters freestyle for men. And it's Finn O'Neill from ESB in lane zero, Ben Moran from Erlingus in one, Ronan Fahey from Trojan in two, Daniel Kennedy from Ards in three, the class act Finn McGeever, the Tokyo Olympian, and heading to the Euros from Limerick in four, Danilo Chabonian from the Czech Republic in five, Dennis O'Brien from Limerick in six, James Cummings Candle from Ards in seven, James Park from Wales in eight and Yasser Hassan from Brompton in lane number nine. Yeah, Finn McGeever is the class of this field, as you said, and he looks good down this first 50 metres. We saw him race a lot last night. He had the 100 freestyle. He also was the lead-off leg for Limerick in the 200 freestyle. So he's had a busy programme, all in preparation for the main event for him, which is European Championships in Rome in a few weeks. Great first split from McGeever whose best this year is a fraction by 0.2 of a second over four minutes. So he'll want to go under four minutes too and throw the gauntlet down to Whiffen ahead of the final. Absolutely. Finn is, used to be the Irish record senior record holder in this event until Jack took Jack McMillan took it off him a couple of months ago. But he's swimming really strong here through this first 100 metres, setting himself up nicely for the rest of this race. Turns at the 100 at 57.47. Slightly over 30, but Ronan Fahey with a really good split in second place in lane two. Very close for second, third, fourth and fifth, but out in front, it's the class of this field in Finn McGeever from Limerick, the 22-year-old, very experienced for a swimmer and the oldest in this heat. Yeah, I know he's a very experienced swimmer. He's raced internationally at Europeans, at obviously at Tokyo last year, so... A bit a key, a key player in our 4x200 freestyle relay, which is a big event for us. Split time a bit high for him there, 31.68. Yeah, it's all about just establishing your rhythm at this stage. So as we said about some of the guys last night, like Shane and Dara and Owen, who are heading to Europeans, he's not rested for this meet. This is in training. This is a training preparation for him, helping him hone his skills, get a little bit of a power hit out, and then knowing that he's in the right place come, come the main competition, the majors, in a few weeks' time. Coming to the turn, halfway mark in just over two minutes, so he's going to have to do a negative 200 to get under that four-minute barrier. Ronan Fahey in lane two in second place, Danilo Chabon Chabonian in third. Yeah, it's a really tight race here for that second place behind Finn. Finn is stretching that lead out to about five metres at this stage, but second place in this heat could be anywhere between two three five and six i don't know but with my untrained eye i have to say he doesn't look as smooth as whiffen did in the last heat but probably just as effective 31 29 the split there he's gonna really struggle to break four minutes today yeah he'll just be using this as a as an experience four and a freestyle is a tough event especially in the morning especially when you're not rested so he'll be just trying to tap into his tactics, how he wants to swim it. And it really is a training swim for him to get that physiological response, which puts him in the right place heading into the next couple of weeks. 300 turn in 303.35. Chabonian in second place in lane number five. And it's Daniel Kennedy, the 18 year old from Ards, who turns in third in lane three. Can he really produce something special and break that four minutes? doesn't look like it. I think it would be a very, very big last 50 here. I think he's just going to hold on to his form. The main and most important thing for Finney here is to hold on to his technique so he's swimming technically well and he knows that he can trust his technique when that rest comes, when that adaption to all the training comes, when he's fresh, that as long as he knows he has the ability to hold on to his technique, then the times will be where he wants them to be. How aware are swimmers while they're in the race of the time that they're doing? They're not aware of the time. They'll have an idea of how the race is feeling, like 
you always know the good races never feel so hard. It's the, the hard race, the, the ones that aren't so good feel like the hardest races. So, Well, the four-minute barrier hasn't been broken, but it's a fine win in the final heat here for Finn McGeever, the 22-year-old from Limerick. In second place, it's Trebonian from the Czech Republic in lane number five. And in third, in lane number three, Daniel Kennedy from Ards. That graphic's slightly off because Chabonian came in second, Kennedy's third, O'Brien fourth, and Fahey in fifth. So that completes the heats in the 400 metres for boys and men. And next up, it'll be the 200 metres butterfly for women. Four heats here. Yep. First one quite a small heat, just five swimmers in it. Moving from... In fact, there's only four on the, uh, on the deck. So uh, in lane number three, it looks like Lauren McGrath from Limerick. In lane number four, Cathy McCabe from Glenalbin. Lane five, Lucy Svobodova from the Czech Republic. And in lane six, Holly Robson from Lisburn City Swimming Club. Yeah, we're moving into a very, very different beast of an event here in the 200 fly. It's, it's a really tough event, so tough on your shoulders. Pacing in this 200 fly is so important. You go out too hard in this and the last 50 can oftentimes not be pretty. So these girls and we've got the men's four or the boys four or the boys 200 flies after this. So we've got a lot of 200 flies coming up and uh, all of these swimmers will have to pace their race really well. And it's quite hard at a young age to understand the importance of going out that little bit slower to conserve an energy. It took me a long time in my career to figure it out. So. Hopefully these, these swimmers will learn from their experiences here and be able to pace that turn to fly white. Ellen O'Driscoll of Limerick, uh, or Ellen O'Driscoll of ESB rather, is not taking part. So just the four swimmers here in the girls. 200 metres butterfly, all 15 year olds. Fastest here is uh, Cathy McCabe with a 248, but they're all pretty close in their times. Yeah, and it's lane five. Lucy from Czech Republic is really taking this out quite hard. She's got a high rate, high tempo going down this first 50. Um, as I said, Tuna Fly is a tough event, so you have to be very, very careful on this first 50, 100 metres not to go out too hard. That lactic acid can really hurt in the last 50 if you do, so a pacing is key here. Would you say the fly is the hardest of all the strokes? I'm biased to talk about the hardest. I would say breaststroke's the hardest. Breast Maybe strokes, technically. Technically, but physically it's quite hard as well. Fly, the shoulders. The shoulders are really tough on the fly. and It, it is, no, fly is a tough event. A lot of the time the fly swimmers won't do swim as much fly in training because it is that demanding. So a lot of the top class fly swimmers do a lot of their training freestyle and then their shorter stuff is more fly. And probably a lot of weight work as well to build up the upper body. Yeah, for the senior swimmers, like gym and strength training is so important. That explosive power is really important, especially in that 100 fly, because it is, it's turned into a real, real sprint game. Great second 50 from Holly Robson, who was the quickest there, and she's made up some ground on Lucy Svoboda. It's a pretty close race. Yeah, Lucy's tempo has dropped now in this first 100 compared to that first 50. You really don't want to start too high with your rate and your tempo on the first 50 because it's so hard to maintain that. And when you start to drop, you sit lower in the water and there's more resistance and everything just starts to feel harder. The water seems thicker at that stage. So you really have to mind your energy expenditure on the first 50, 100 meters of a tuna fly. Yeah, the fly to me looks excruciating, not being a swimmer myself. I have to say, I admire people who can swim butterfly. It's, it's a fun event, it actually is, I quite enjoyed, I used to swim a little bit of 200 fly and I always enjoyed it because it is so hard, there's a, there's a certain satisfaction in, in, in a really tough event like that. Great stuff here from Holly Robson from Lisburn, she's pulled away from the Czech Republic girls for Bodova and coming up fast in lane number three is uh, Laura McGrath who's had a, a really good last hundred but there's no doubt about who's going to win this heat. It's Holly Robson, the 15-year-old from Lisbon City Swimming Club, trying to beat her best of 2.49.58. And she's comfortably going to do that. Touching the wall at 2.45, dead. Really good swimming there from Holly and in second place, McGrath, with a 42.86 final split. 
push the Czech Republic girls from Odova down into third place. Very tight there, 249-0 versus 249-1 between Lauren and Lucy. But look at the difference in the splits. That last 50 for Lauren was a 42-8. The last 50 for Lucy was a 45-8. That's a three second difference. That's what it's like when that, if you go out too hard in a 50 fly, that piano falls in your back and you really, really can hurt in that last 50. Here comes heat number two. It's Rachel Marshall from Trojan in lane one. It's Grace Coyle from Lauren in two. Michaela Kisilova from the Czech Republic in three, in two. Uh, Eva Bailey from Balamina in three. Sharon Semshi from Sunday as well in four. Faith Hayburn from Swim Belfast in five. Hannah Malloy from Trojan in six. Grace Cochran from Lurgan in seven. Emma Marriage from Drogheda in eight. And Aoife Fierick from Limerick in lane nine. And I see there's nobody in lane seven, so Grace Cochran from Lurgan is not starting. So that we've got nine swimmers in this race, all aged between 15 and 23. The oldest is the Czech Republic swimmer, Michaela Kisilova, in lane number two. And the fastest is Semshi from Sunday's Well with a 2.21.59. Yeah, so Grace Cochran's not in this. She was in the pool earlier this morning. That 100 freestyles was maybe just decided to focus on that for later on in the in this, if she's back for a final session, which I think she will be, to focus on that and save her energy as this is a tough event. And it's a fine start from Semshi in lane four. Looking smooth, looking graceful. I would be cautious. I, maybe. I would be cautious in a four and a 200 fly. Anytime someone goes out really hard, it oftentimes hurts in the last, last 50. So it'll be interesting to see how this race... proved in the last heat. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see how this race plays out. Sometimes you're swimming that, to that first 100 metres and it feels great. And then all of a sudden the, short, the shoulders go, the lactic acid starts flowing around the veins. And it's just like, OK, I'm really, really feeling the, feeling the pain now. So see how we get to in this last 100. Well, Semshi's going to turn first and it's Faith... Hayburn from Swim Belfast in lane five, who's in second place, and Eva Bailey in lane number three for Balamina Swimming Club in third place. Sharon is still splitting the fastest 50 there, 36.8 to 37.2, so she's holding on to her form, holding on to her technique so far in this third 50 of the two in the fly. Yeah, her feet are clearing the water, so she's keeping the power going. Yeah. Looking very strong. You really want to try and sit, again, you want to sit as high as you can in the water. That's sort of all strokes. You want to try and sit on top of the water as much as in the water. So Sharon's just splitting a 37-6 there. So another solid split here. Using her underwaters there, she had about three or four kicks underwater before she broke out, which is important in the 200 fly. Eva Bailey was a second faster there than Hayburn, so she's moved up into second place. 200 metres, so this is the last 25. This is when Semshi it, will get the win. This is when it really hurts, but you just have to dig deep here, and Sharon is swimming a good, strong race here. She's not going to be caught with 15, 10 metres now left to go. Just starting to struggle, but she's far enough ahead. In lane three, it's Eva Bailey who's going to get second. Semshi touches the wall in 2.23. 66, which is not slightly slower than her best. Eva Bailey gets second in 2.28. And Faith Hayburn in third in lane five with 2.30.09. Hannah Malloy in fourth. And Michaela Kisilova in lane two back in fifth place. Now Moving on, we have to move on, unfortunately. Time waits for no man in this gig. Here we go, it's lane heat number three of four in the women's 200 meter butterfly and in lane number zero it's Liana Ledan from Limerick lane one is Hannah O'Connor also from Limerick Eva Bailey from New Ross in lane two Tony Jemison from Lisburn in lane three Alana Burns Atkin from Banbridge in four Hannah McCabry from Lurgan in five Ruth Kelly from New Ross in six Sarah Salai from St. Felix in seven Radka Podesteva from the Czech Republic in eight and Katie Kelly from Sharks in lane nine. 200 metres butterfly. Penultimate heat. 220.9, the fastest swimmer here, Alana Burns-Atkin from Banbridge in lane number four. 
Good underwater is from Tony Jameson in lane three from Lisburn, but it's the Banbridge swimmer in lane four who's pulling away on this now as we're coming into the first turn in the 400, or the 200 fly, sorry. Yeah, she's looking powerful. It's uh, a very good first leg. 31-27 from Burns Atkin. Hannah McCabry in second in lane number five. Ava Bailey in lane two in third. And J Tony Jemison in lane three is in fourth. Yeah, 31 point there for that 50 for Milan is a really strong first 50. She's looking good down this, down this second 50 here. A high-ish tempo, but it doesn't look like she's forcing it. Her hips are coming up nice and high in the water, and she's driving through a stroke nice. Breathing every one, which means she's getting oxygen every time, and she's not... I notice her feet are clearing the water, whereas the girls in second and third aren't. Yeah, she's got a good undulation that's coming from her hips and then extends out to the back of her toes. And that's a 36 split there, so she's split over a second faster than the rest of the field in that second 50. So she can hold on to that pace here. Looks like she might be getting to be tie up a little bit uh, on this third 50, but if she could hold on to that, she'll have a really strong swim. In lane number three, it's uh, Tony Jemison from Lisburn City. The 17-year-old who's just got into uh, second place ahead uh, of Hannah McCabry from Lurgan in lane five. Very strong northern representation. All the first three swimmers from the north. Yeah, the northern clubs are doing a really good job uh, getting swimmers here, getting really strong programs, a lot of competition up there, which is really good to see. And then you come to these Irish championships and... You get all the clubs from around the country and you get this great atmosphere and that really helps get the best out of the swimmers. So less than 20 to go and uh, no doubt that Alana burns Atkins going to win. Can she break the 220, her best this year? In second place in lane three, it's still Tony Jemison. And in lane five, it's McCabry in third. But here comes burns Atkins touching the wall in 222. 0.73 slightly outside her best but it's a good swim nonetheless yep. to her left in lane three it's Jemison in second place and it's Macabre in third with Ruth Kelly from New Ross coming fourth yeah some of the girls are slightly slower than their entry times but that is a good swim swimming a two and a fly in the morning is not an easy event or an easy ask so to be that solid times in and around their entry times is, is a good swimming for this morning. They'll be able to go home, look at the videos, see if there's any things that they can improve on and then come back this evening and, and try and be faster. So the final heat then in the women's 200 breaststroke. It's going to be Neve Pierce in lane zero for Guildford City Swimming Club. Anna McKernan from Banbridge in lane one, Heather Fain from Dolphin in two, Rachel Harris from Brompton in three, Lucy Thornton from Aer Lingus in four, Hannah O'Shea Dolphin in five, Sophia Quigley from Ards in six, Hazel Bentley from Asgard in seven, Fallon Becker from Glenalban in eight, and Kira Tankey from Italy in lane number nine. We have a little bit of a delay here, so a chance for us to catch our breath as we come into this last heat, heat four of four of the girls' 200 fly. Lucy Thornton, the fastest coming into this with a 218.77. There's a big disparity between 218 and 245 in yep. this particular heat. Yeah, absolutely. 200 fly is a, is a really tough event, um, and you see that, that, that disparity. This is why some of these earlier heats and some of these events when all of the girls or boys for the boys events the heats are uh, really tight together and you get some really close races in the seated heats you get some of that disparity between lane four and the outside lanes just something being taken out of the pool might have been a small piece of uh, litter that managed to get there it's normally in pristine condition this pool it's very unusual that anything like that happens yeah not sure if one of the swimmers was feeling all right after that turn of fly or something. Uh, so it's a, it's a tough event for sure. So I think the girls now are ready to get underway in this last heat. So heat four of four in the 200 butterfly. And just to go through them again, in lane zero, it's Pierce. In lane one, it's McKernan. Lane two is Fane. Lane three, Harris. Lane four, Thornton. Lane five, O'Shea. Lane six, Quigley. Lane seven, Bentley. Lane eight, Becker. And lane five, Tanky. Lucy Thornton the fastest here with a 218.77 in lane four. 
Looks like she's got out to a good start here there. So is Hannah O'Shea in lane five. But also in lane two, we have Heather Fain from Dolphin Swimming Club. Got two Dolphin swimmers in this. Fain and O'Shea in lanes two and five. So they will be well used to swimming with each other and racing each other in training. But it is Lucy Thornton in lane four who's going to touch, touch first in a 30.65, which is a fast first 50 split. Nearly a second and a half ahead of Hannah O'Shea in second place. Heather Fain in lane two was third. Rachel Harris, fourth. Four lengths of the pool. We're coming to the halfway mark and no sign of Thornton letting up, but it's a really good second 50 from Hannah O'Shea of Dolphin in lane five. Lucy looks really, really strong here. She's really driving. She does look like she's working quite hard though, so if she can hold on to this kind of pace, she'll be some really, really fast here. That's a 105.98, which is really fast swimming versus her 218. So if she can come back in a 112, she'll be under her entry time, but that can sometimes be hard in a, in a 200 fly. Looks like she's keeping her form well, as is the girl in second place, Hannah O'Shea of Dolphin. Good race for third. Coming up in uh, lane number seven is Hazel Bentley from Asgard. She looks to be in third place. But coming to the last turn in this 200 butterfly, yeah, it's Lu the Aer Lingus swimmer Lucy Thornton who turns first. 36.58, 142.5. Really strong third 50 there from Lucy as well. I really like how she's getting over the water with her arms. Even though she's tired here, she's getting over the water and driving forward, getting that hip drive, driving into that kind of on top of the water streamlined position she is beginning to hurt a little bit here but it's a it's been a really strong swim so far as she goes 15 meters to go lucy thornton the 23 year old the oldest in this heat best time this year of 218 77 it'll be close if she can beat that not quite just outside 220.22 in second place in lane number five is han o'shea and strong finish from the girl in lane seven, Hazel Bentley from Asgard, who touches in 2.30, five seconds under her best. Rachel Harrison, fourth in lane three. Sophia Quigley, fifth in lane number six. And that completes the women's 200 meters butterfly. We'll have the men's heats coming up straight away. Yeah, strong swimming from Lucy there. She led that race from the start. That's not an easy thing to do, to take the race out hard from the start and go on. You know you're, there's no one beside you, but you want to push because in a heat like this, you want to get a fast time, set yourself up nicely for the final, execute the race. You'll have spoken to your coach beforehand about how you want to swim the race, and then you want to go out there and execute it, which can be tough when you're out on your own there. So really strong, solid performance from Lucy in the heats, and she'll be back again this evening. Okay, there's the boys for the first heat of the 200 butterfly. And the runners and riders in lane zero, Lewis Fitzpatrick from Lisburn City. Connor Lanigan from Trident in lane one. Alfie Shaw from Lisburn in lane two. Adam Lynch from Sleeve Beg in lane three. Corey Bowden from Limerick in lane four. Manu Patella de la Vega from ESB in lane five. Liam Trainer in six for Hillingdon. For Kilkenny, it's Ushin Mary in lane seven. Ricky Fain from Dolphin in eight. And Joshua Hunt from Limavady in lane number nine. The first of four heats, the fastest here, the 226.83 of Corey Bowden in lane four. But it's lane two and three who have made the best start here. Alfie Shaw and Adam Lynch. Yeah, absolutely. They were really strong off that dive through the first 15.25 and now to the 35. Looks like it's going to be Alfie Shaw from Lisburn who's going to touch first uh, at this 50 meter mark. Oh, he was tight by the wall there. Alfie Shaw, 30.13, 30.4 for Lynch. Connor Lanigan in lane one and Lewis Fitzpatrick in lane zero. It's the four near lanes that are doing most of the work here as lanes four and five are struggling a bit. Yeah, so you wanna, when you're swimming fly or breaststroke, you really have to judge the wall so that you finish, when you hit the wall on a full stroke, whereas Alfie Shaw there from Lisburn finished on a half stroke, so his face was right up against the wall. So you really want to time that and finish it fully, finish the, hit the wall when you're fully extended. Lynch just ahead with the fastest split there. 0.4 of a second quicker than Alfie Shaw with uh, Connor Lanigan in third in lane one. But notice them 
swimmer in lane four. He's coming through now. Garrett Corey Bowden from Limerick. Yeah. He's definitely closing down on the two leaders. He's starting to he's starting to push through the field here, but it is definitely Lynch from Lisburn or Lynch from Sleebeg Swimming Club. Yes, it is. Uh, who's taking charge of this race with 50 to go? It looks. Lynch turning in 143.56 with a 37 split. Shaw in lane two with a 40 and a 38 split for Corey Bowden. Lynch is holding on, but you can see he's sitting a lot lower in the water now than he was at the start of the race. Just struggling a little bit to get his hands fully extended over the top of the water, but looks like he's done enough for the first half of this race to get the win here. Lynch, the 17 year old from Sleeve Beg. Best of 228.27. Five, six metres to spare as he comes to the wall at the end of this 200 metres. And he touches in 2.21.46. That's five seconds better than his best. Second place for Adam Lynch in lane three. And third was Alfie Shaw. Don't mind those graphics. Corey Bowden did not win the race. He came third. It was Adam Lynch in first, followed by Alfie Shaw in second. Bowden was third and it was Patella de la Vega for ESB in fourth strong swimming there from Adam Lynch um, big five seconds faster than his entry time in the heats of Tuna Fly nothing wrong with that he'll be happy and he'll be looking to come back this evening and see if he can go any fast, even faster here's heat two of four in the butterfly for boys and in lane number zero it's Donica McCarthy from New Ross Alex Barrett from Black Rock in one Samuel Wright from Bangor in two, Connor Jobson from Kilkenny in three, Alex McClellan Marr from Kilkenny in four, Sean Donlan from Glenalbin in five, Matthew Hand from Ards in six, Dennis O'Brien from Limerick in seven, Alex McMullen from Bangor in eight, and Matt McAvinney from Kilkenny in lane number nine. Yeah, this is the first of our seeded heat, so McClellan Marr is the fastest in this heat, the Kilkenny swimmer. He'll be looking to put down a marker at the rest of the guys coming up in the next two heats. They'll be looking to see what the time is going to be like. I notice he doesn't have a black and amber cap. No. So he's For some reason. He's wearing a, a bullet hat. So they've got like bullet hats versus normal hats. So the bullet hats have no seams on them. So they're a little bit faster. Every split second counts. And a fine swim so far for the man in lane four, Alex McClellan Marr. Best of 208.94. And approaching the halfway mark with about a two meter advantage. Talk to us about the turns here. Who's going to get the best turn? So McLennan hit the wall there, really. McLennan hit the wall there in a full turn. Big underwaters. Four or five kicks underwater there and then broke out. He looked a little bit deep on the breakout. He lifted his head up and hit the brakes a little bit there, but really strong underwaters, which is such a big part of a 200 fly. For second place in lane number two, it's Sam Wright from Bangor. And in lane number five, it's Sean Donlan from Glenalbin. But they're not going to catch the man who's out there with a three metre advantage, McClellan Marr. Easily the class act of this particular heat. Yeah, he's out in front and he doesn't look like he's going to be touched here. But Sean Donlan in lane five and Samuel Wright in lane two aren't letting him away with it either. They're hanging on in there. There was no difference in the split there in the third 50. And it, if anything, it's... Sean Donlan in lane number five who's finishing the stronger but he yep. surely can't catch McClellan Marr who's got 15 metres to go and is hoping to beat his season's best of 208.94 might not quite do that but he's going to get the heat McClellan Marr with the win Donlan finishes in second place two seconds behind and in third it's Dennis O'Brien in lane seven 216.88 with Matthew Hand in fourth place. Really strong finish there from Dennis O'Brien to move through the field and touch the touch the wall, getting third there. Um, but that's a tough event. Doing a fly is a tough event. All those boys are breathing hard after that, so they'll be looking to recover now before coming back this evening to do it all again. I don't know how they do it, but fair play. That's what it's like at the elite sports level. You have to keep coming back, keep coming back. And that's what separates class from the rest. Luke Caldwell in lane zero for this heat number three from Larne. Ronan Kilcoyne in lane one for Sligo. Dylan Regist from Lisburn in lane two. Danilo Chobanian in lane number three for the Czech Republic. Adam Colgan from Lisburn in four. 
Brogan McAvinney in five, Ben Moran in six, Liam Ogue Mathers in seven, Lorenzo Pierotti in eight, and Cormac Farron in lane nine. Dylan McGeese in lane two from Lisburn, taking this out strong here in this first 50. Dylan Regis with a best of 2.15, 17-year-old from Lisburn, and turning in 27.78, just to 0.8 of a second ahead of Brogan McAvinney with Adam Colgan in lane four in third. Adam Colgan looks good here. He looks, he's quite long, he's quite efficient. He looks like he's just smooth. You can see he's quite relaxed through his stroke. He's not forcing anything as he's swimming down this, this, this second 50, whereas Dylan Regis looks strong, but he's definitely expending more energy than Adam to do that. So maybe Adam will have the better 100, but it's gonna be Regis who's gonna hit the halfway mark in a time of 101.05, split of 33.27, 17 hundreds quicker than Adam Colgan. Shabanian in third place. Those three, the only, un the only swimmers under 34 in that last split. Both Dylan and Adam are both Lisbon swimmers, so they'll be used to training alongside each other, used to racing each other here, and they'll know they'll know each other's strengths. They'll know wh whether Adam is a good finisher or Dylan's a strong starter or however it is, they'll know each other's strengths and they'll know how they race this 200 fly. So Adam's really coming through on this third 50 here. Looks like Dylan's still gonna be just ahead, but Adam is really caught up there. 33.94 split for Adam versus 34.28. And Trebanian had a 33.4, and it was McAvinney with a 33.6. This could be a very close race with 50 to go. Yeah, Dylan still has the lead, but these three guys in the middle lanes are all charging quite hard. So can Dylan hold on? We'll find out. Dylan Regis with a very slight advantage, but fast finishing in lane number three is Danilo Trebanian. And in lane number four, it's Adam Colgan. Chabanian might just get the touch here. Regis tying up, and it is. Chabanian from Regis. McAvinney finishing fast with a 34-13, and Colgan too with a very good last 50. But Chabanian, 33-39 on the last 50, gets the heat honors in what was a fantastic race. Yeah, that's it. Dylan led that race for 95 of those 200 meters but Chabanian really paced that race well. Just moved through, there was four of them in the line with 25 meters to go, and he just moved through and got the touch at the end to win that hit second of this forward, or second by this 200 fly heat. So here's the final heat in the men's butterfly 200 meters. Heat four, Simone Pierotti from Italy in lane zero, Kian Mason from Kingdom in lane one, Ronan Fahey from Trojan in two, Adam Wilson from Banbridge in three, Ross Hartigan from Tuck South Africa in lane four, Charlie Eatwell from Ards in five, Callum Ashton in six, Kit Kynan Telek Botos from Brompton in lane seven, Louis Maguire from Brefney in eight, and Bryn Mawinney from Lee in lane number nine. Ross Hartigan from Tux, South African swimmer who's over, is really the class of this field. He's on an entry time of 2 minutes point nine, almost 9 seconds quicker than the next fastest swimmer in this heat. And you can see that after 50 metres, 26.59, that's the fastest split we've seen uh, out of all of these 200 flies. Uh, so he's going to be swimming this race on his own, so it's really going to be him against the clock. But it's such a good technique, he's breathing every one, but he just looks so relaxed on top of the water, almost gliding over it. but tell you there's a lot of work to make it look that effortless it sure is it looks fantastic and he's four or five meters ahead as he comes to the halfway mark hoping to break that two minute barrier we've said that a few times today and he turns in 57.62 so it's definitely on a 31 split he needs a couple more 31s to break that two minute barrier it's Kynan and Talek Botos in second place and in third it's Callum Ashton from UCD yeah, Ross here in lane four has got a high tempo, but he's not, he's like high tempo, but he's not using all of his power on it. He's just sitting there nice and comfortably at that rate, but it is tough to maintain that through a 200 fly. So let's see what he splits in this third 50 here. It's 31 in the last 50, and we're 32-3 now, so 129.93. Probably not going to go sub two minutes this morning, but... He'll still be looking to put a really, really strong swim in. To Eight set him seconds up. faster than the man in second place, who's Telek Botos. So it's a procession, really, a fantastic exhibition of butterfly swimming. The question is, though, can Ross Hartigan break the two minute barrier? Not quite. Five meters to go. There goes two minutes. Brilliant swim in 201.8. But who's going to get second place? Coming through in lane number six, 
is Callum Ashton from UCD. And it's Ashton gets there just ahead of Talek Botos. Great final 50 from the man from UCD, 34-63. Talek Botos in third and Adam Wilson in fourth. Yeah, really tight finish there for the second, third and fourth positions in that race. But really, Ross Hartigan was the class of that field. 2.018 in the morning, 0.9 off his entry time is a really strong swim. We're really looking forward to watching to see what he can do this evening in a final. And of course, the winner of that heat, Ross Hartigan, being from South Africa, can't win the national championship. So there's plenty of scope for the rest of the Irish swimmers as we look forward to that final in the session starting at 5 o'clock this evening. OK, moving swiftly on, we've got three heats now in the women's 50-metre breaststroke, the sprint over one length. And here's the field, Roisin Nireen from Limerick in lane zero, Anna McDade from Enniskillen in one, Ellie Campbell from Trojan in two, Pixie Lael Kasicki from Brompton in three, Emer Doyle from Limerick in four, Beth Gardner from NAC in five, Allegra Pateno from Italy in six, and Ina Cisterno from Limavadi in seven, and Ava McNamara from Nisburn City in eight. Yeah, we have Roshi Nureen in lane zero. She's the Paralympian swimmer. She was in Tokyo last year. She was also fresh off the World Para Championships, which were held in Madeira uh, a couple of months ago, where she swam fabulously, uh, won a few medals on the world stage. So she'll be looking to finish off what has been an amazing season for her with a strong performance at these meets, and this is particularly this 50 breaststroke coming up now. Ema Doyle in lane four is the quickest in this heat. Her time of... 32.82 is a second and a half faster than anybody else but it's a fast and furious breaststroke yeah high tempo high rate we've got pixie in lane three really swimming well here the thing the really important thing even though you're swimming with a high tempo high rate you need to get into that streamlined position on every stroke even if it's just for a fraction of a second so here comes Emer doyle she just looks like she's pulling through Really, really close, Lael Pasicki or Doyle, who's it going to be? It's Lael Pasicki by 0.2 of a second, the margin so tight in this kind of race. Beth Gardner is third in 34.82 and Enos is narrow in lane number seven, got the fourth position. But Lael Pasicki gets the heat honours, but Emer Doyle, the best of the Irish. Yeah, and Emer picking up a medal yesterday in the 200 breaststroke, so... A lot of these girls will be back for a 50 breaststroke final there this evening and they'll, they'll go again, they'll go head to head and that's what it's all about, getting the best out of each other through racing. Nine in this second heat of three. It's Louise Hartnett in Leash Marlins in lane zero. Imogen Sargent from Chelsea in Westminster in one. Uh, Sophia Suarez Caulfield from Brighton in two. It's Soon Jan Varsfeld from Tux in three. Kristen Mundell from Tux in four. And then it's Aiken in five, Jones in six, Lund in seven and Marr in eight. A couple of South Africans and a couple from Britain. And they are the class acts of this field. Good breakout from Christian Mundell in lane four from Tux. She's got a really nice stroke. She's really driving forward with her hands, driving into that streamline. You can see she's really popping through her hips as well. So she looks like she's pulling away from the field here with 15 to go. Kira Aiken, the best of the Irish in lane five from Ards. But it's Mundell who has excelled this week in almost everything she's done. First in a time of 33.11, it's Aiken in lane five who gets second place, and Megan Jones in lane six with a 35.29, just a nine, nine tenths of a second behind Aiken in third. And we've got a lot of visitors in this final heat as well. Paige Austin Burrows in lane zero, Radka Podeskova in lane three from the Czech Republic, as is Clementina Frankova and Kathleen Delange from Tux in lane number five. The Irish girls from Port Marnock in lane one, it's Holly Clifford. And from Sunday as well, it's Isabel Kidney in lane two. Beth Nolan from Sunday as well in six. Amy Noble from Asgard in seven. And Ellen Keane from NAC in nine. Good break out there in lane five from Caitlin Delange from Tux and she looks powerful. Look at that drive, she's really driving into each of those strokes, sitting quite high in the water and really powerful coming through with 15 metres to go. She's almost a body length ahead. Delange and Frankova fighting for the heat honours in third place in lane number three. It looks like it's Isabel Kidney from Sunday's well. Let's see who gets the touch. 
Delange gets it, Frankova in second. Podestiva got third from Isabel Kidney, the best of the Irish in lane number two, with Holly Clifford in lane number one, followed by Beth Nolan in lane number six. So that completes seven, six. the old 20, 50 metres breaststroke. Yeah, I could see Clementina there was celebrating, so that 32.78, she's obviously very happy with that from this morning's swim. Swiftly on to the 50 metres 50 meters breaststroke for men. And in this first heat, we have just six swimmers. In lane number one, it's Dylan Prendeville from Limerick. Lane number two, it's Ryan McGinley from the NAC. Lane number three is Owen Walsh from Cookstown. Lane four, Key and George from Tullamore. Lane five is Ewan Fain from Dolphin. Lane six is empty. Lane seven is Omar Talal, who's from the Hamilton Dubai team. And in lane number eight, I think it is, it's Paul Trichler from New Ross. You can see those guys, these guys here using that one fly kick that you're allowed off the start before you do your breaststroke pull out, uh, using that to drive them up to the surface of the water and break out. Very close, this one. In lane number four, it's Kean George from Tullamore. To his right in lane number five is Ewan Fain. Dara Hughes also very close in lane number three. Any one of four could win this. It's all on the touch. And it got, Ewan Fain was the one who got there first in lane number five, just ahead of Kean George. Less than three hundredths of a second between them. And they're only a tenth ahead of Ryan McGinley in third in lane two. Great so race. Tight. Between those five guys there, there's 0 0.5, 0 0.6 of a second. So that's how tight the margins are, especially in these 50 breaststrokes. All of the details are key, whether that's your dive, your line on entry, that fly kick, put, that fly kick then into your pull out, making sure you're carrying as much momentum into the breakout and then driving that tempo all the way through the race. And the Paralympian swimmer is just finishing now. Dylan Prendeville from Limerick in lane number one. And over there in lane number eight, Paul Trichler from New Ross. Great effort from those Paralympians to get down the pool. And now we have the second heat of four in this 50 meters breaststroke for men. It's Amr Tamar of Hamilton, Dubai in lane one. Mark James, James Park, I should say, from Nofu Cluid in Wales in lane number one. Liam O'Connor from Terra in two. Andre Kukrecht from the Czech Republic in three. Ushin Cook from Tume in four. Matthew Randall from Tux in five. Killian Colvin from NAC in six. Daniel McHolland from Lisburn in seven. Cody Dunyon from Ards in eight. And Jake Vanderbeek from Bluefin in nine. Start is crucial in a 50 meter race. Absolutely, so Ushin be the one to watch in this. He picked up medals in the 100 breaststroke earlier in this meet, so. Quite long. The three middle lanes stretching it out. It's lane five in the lead. That's uh, Matthew Randall. Randall looks really powerful here. He's really picking up really high tempo. I'd like to know what his rate is there. Really high. But Ushin is driving through in Ushin lane four as well. Pushing him all the way. And in lane number three, it's uh, Andre Kukrecht. But it's Randall who gets it in 28.96. Less than a second ahead of Ushin Cook in lane four. Andre Kukrecht gets third. And Daniel Mulholland in fourth place. First three, all breaking, 30 seconds. And as they clear the pool, as they must, because it's a 50 meter race, we can have a look at heat number three of four. It's Ewan Maguire from the local NAC club in lane zero. John Mulhall from Trojan in one. Andrew Feenan from Sunday's Well in two. Morgan Berryman from Larne in three. Dara Green from Longford in four. Jermot Sutton in five, McClellan Maher in six, McNamara in seven, O'Sullivan in eight, and Heslop from Tux in nine. Good start from Jermot Sutton in five there, but Dara Green is now coming through. Tokyo Olympian swam the 200 last night, but look at that race. His rate is really high, and he's driving through that field with 15 to go. He's almost got a body length lead already. Dara Green with a 28-15 this year already. He's going to win it in lane number four. To his right in lane number five is Jermot Sutton. 
28.1 beats his best this year. Barry, Berryman in second with a 29.42 and also breaking 30 seconds, Dermot Sutton in lane number five. That's a strong swim from Dara there again. He's heading to Europeans in a couple of weeks, so this is all just preparation for that. He's the Irish senior record holder in this event, so real class act in this 50, 100 and 200 breaststroke Dara is, so it'll be really exciting to watch him race in Rome in a couple of weeks' time. We also have Owen Corby, who's also heading to Rome in a couple of weeks in lane four, so one to watch in this race as well. And Owen Corbin with Corby with a 27.99 this year. There's the field for the final heat. Philip Tublovitz of Ealing in uh, lane zero. It's Ben Caldwell of Ards in lane number one. Lev Vooten from Czech Republic in two. It's Gerber from Ealing in three. Corby, Moore, Federnikov, Marucci, Ryan and Cummings. <laughs> Good start from Andrew Moore there. Galway swimmer, but he's based here in the centre in Dublin. Really good start from him, but Owen is trying to track him down. But I think Andrew Moore is going to have done enough to win this 50 with 50 metres to go. 24-year-old Andrew Moore just ahead of Owen Corby, the 20-year-old from Limerick. And in lane number three, it's uh, Yaron Gerber from Ealing. And it is Corby in four who gets it from Andrew Moore. Same times, 28.7, absolutely. Couldn't be split to the hundredth of a second. Yeah. And in third place, Yaron Gerber in third. I thought Andrew just about had that, but he had a little bit of a glide and Owen was charging with 10 metres to go. And Andrew just glided into the finish, meant that they touched first there. But those boys will both be back for this evening and they'll go again. And presumably that's an equal first. So that's equal first, so they'll be, um, they'll both be just seated Dara's the fastest qualifier from the heat before, so they'll probably be seated either side of him after that. Okay, just a slight break here because they have to set up the pool for the backstrokes. We're going to see the women's 100 metres backstroke, nine heats. There's a lot of backstroke coming up, nine heats in the women and 12 in the men. 21 heats to go before we... So they're just Get setting a break. up the backstroke wedges, which is a relatively new thing. A couple of years ago, they've brought in the ledges, which you can see the officials are just setting them up there now on the screen. Uh, what you used to see was that a lot of the backstroke swimmers, before they had the ledges, they'd slip on the blocks. Whereas the wedge now just gives them a better a better footing, allows them to get a better start, and oh, that's what you're looking for: more consistency from race to race. And there's the field in the first heat. Dervla Brady from Limavady in lane number two. Katie Mann from Brompton in lane number three. Ava Nolan from Slaney in four. Amy Lynch from Sunday's Well in five. And Nia Vaughan from Kilkenny in lane number six. Ava Nolan with a 114.9, the quickest. Two lengths of the pool, 100 metres. The first of nine preliminary heats. Like in that 200 fly that we spoke about earlier, that underwaters are so important. We saw Shane Ryan last night in the 50 back really utilising that power, that strength underwater to set yourself up for a good race. You can go 15 metres off the start, you can go 15 metres off the turn. So it be interesting to see how the girls, as we go through these races, utilise their underwaters. In lane five, it's uh, Amy Lynch who's going to touch the wall first. 35.16 from Ava Nolan in lane four with Katie Mann in third. Special mention for Dervla Brady, the 15-year-old from Nimavadi, who's a Paralympian swimmer. And she's obviously at a different level and a different pace to these four who are having a good race, it has to be said. Yeah, they're really close here, right in a line. It looks like it's Amy Lynch just slightly ahead of Ava Nolan, but Ava's really charging on this last 50 metres and actually looks like Ava's just taken the lead with 10 to go. 114.9 her season's best. Ava Nolan in lane four. It's Amy Lynch in lane number five. And who's going to get the touch? Ava Nolan by a fraction, by just 0.3 of a second from Amy Lynch with Katie Mann third and Nia Vaughan in fourth. And here comes Dervla Brady in lane two from Limavady. Let's see her finish, lane two. Dervla pushing it all the way. Two minutes is Dervla's entry time, so let's see if she can go under that. 200.93, trying to break her season's best. We won't know until she touches the wall because we don't have the 
in running time, but let's see, can she break her season best? She's certainly sprinting to the end, and she gets there. 158.78, great swim from Dervla Brady. And a good round of applause from the crowd that are here for this morning session of day number four of five at these national summer championships. So on we go to lay, uh, heat number two of the 100 metres backstroke. And it's Jenna McArdle in lane zero for Sunday as well. Emma Marriage from Drogheda in lane number one. Louise Hartnett from Leash in lane two. Alice Ledgerwood from Trojan in three. Ashling Scanlon from Longford in four. Mia Randalls from Temple Oak in five. Sarah Gunning from Blue Finn in six. Keila Flanagan, Athlone in seven. Olivia Curry from Shark in eight. And Nomi Smith from Bangor in lane number nine. Backstroke just a little bit calmer and slower because they have to clear the pool and obviously start from this position. Lane number one isn't going, that's Emma Marriage from Drogheda, so just nine swimmers here. Fastest in this heat is the 113.98, registered to both Ashling Scanlon in lane four and Mia Randalls in lane five. Yeah, and it looks like those two swimmers in the middle lanes are just slightly edging ahead now as we approach the 35 meter mark, but it is tight all the way across this field. All of these girls are entering on a 113 or a 114, so really, if anyone steps up, they could get their hand on the wall first. Jenna McArdle in lane zero had a great start though. She's touched the wall first in 35-21, ahead of Mia Randalls in lane five, and Nomi Smith out in lane nine, also with a fine time in that opening 50. So lanes nine, and one very prominent and also in lane number six it's Sarah Gunning from Blue Finn yeah this is really tight race right across the pool as they swim past us here it looks like it could be the Sunday Wells swimmer Jenna McArdle and lane zero might slightly be edging it at this stage with yeah lane go. zero very close but lane number six Sarah Gunning from Blue Finn and she touches first in 113 28 just seven tenths ahead of Jenna McArdle in lane zero, uh, Olivia Curry in third in lane eight, and the faster swimmers, Scanlon and Randalls, didn't have it their own way there, but there were nine, ten, nine swimmers there, all under 116. Yeah, and looks like some of those swimmers are swimming under their entry times, which is, uh, which is what you're looking for, which is really strong performance for those girls right there, especially on those outside lanes, getting the toucher, the top three places from those outside lanes is, is really impressive. Here's heat number three, and it's McNally from Lurgan in lane zero, Morrissey from Kilkenny in lane one, Tosti from Italy in lane two, Fitzpatrick from UCD in lane three, Maeve O'Rourke from Tum Swim Team, the fastest in this heat in lane number four, Neve Burke from Marlins in lane five, Minto from Temple Oak in six, Giordano from Italy in seven, Tella from Dolphin in eight, and Amato from Italy in nine. Three Italian swimmers in this heat of 10. Yeah, and it really is good to have these uh, guest swimmers coming from abroad to race at this meet. It really ups the standards, it really pushes on all of the swimmers, uh, and it creates that little bit of extra atmosphere. It's great to see these swimmers on pool deck competing hard against the Irish swimmers. Mavo Rourke with a 113.16, only marginally by a fraction of a second faster than both Neve Burke and Amy Fitzpatrick who are 113.23. Very, very closely matched the uh, class swimmers in this race. Yeah, there's point, less than 0.9 of a second between all 10 swimmers in the pool right now. So this could go anywhere in this race. It's all about who feels best this Saturday morning in the National Aquatic Centre. Good start from Amy Fitzpatrick, the UCD swimmer in lane three, really utilizing those underwaters, popped up first. She has probably uh, almost a half a body length as she swam through 25 right there. Marginally ahead of Maeve O'Rourke from uh, Tum in lane number four. It looks like Maeve is now beginning to catch up with her. It looks like Maeve will turn first, but if Amy Fitzpatrick can use her underwaters again, she could pull ahead. She could pull ahead uh, again on this second 50. Look at her underwater right there, utilizing them. She's gonna pop up ahead of Maeve, or right level with Maeve, even though Maeve turned first. And keep an eye on Sarah McNally in lane zero as well from Lurgan. 
But it's lane number four. It's Maeve O'Rourke from Chewham, who's just marginally ahead of Amy Fitzpatrick from UCD. In third place now in lane six is Neve is uh, Abigail Minto from Temple Oak. But in the fast lane, in lane number four, Maeve O'Rourke will get the heat honours here with a 37-5 split. Amy Fitzpatrick in lane three gets second, Abigail Minto in third, and Carla Tella in fourth. Yeah, four swimmers going under 113 there. All of these girls were entered on 113, so four to go sub that in the heats. is a good, strong swimming. Good, really well paced race for Maeve O'Rourke there. Even beside Amy, who was really working hard underwater, but Maeve just kept to her stroke, kept her discipline, kept her technique, and got the win in that third heat of the, wom or the women's 100 back row. Okay, here's heat number four. And it's Rachel Marshall from Trojan in lane zero. Michelle O'Shea from Dolphin in lane number one. Lily Maguire from Lee in lane two. Izzy McGrath from Dolphin in lane three. Ellen Blake from Ennis in lane four. Anya O'Neill from Trojan in lane five. Nawal Mia from Mandeville Dolphins in lane six. Annabelle Farrington Knight from Asgard in seven. Shona Began from Trojan in eight. And Marguerite Buckley from Clonmel in nine. And all of the swimmers, of course, are ranked by their times. And the gaps here 112.06 to 113.09. Only a second separating these 10. Again, nothing in it. Any swimmers feeling good, has a little bit of drop from their entry time, could win this. But looks like lane three is going to pop up first there. Izzy McGrath from Dolphin Swimming Club. Really, look look at that long stroke. She looks so, re stroke. looks so relaxed swimming down this first 50. I'm sure she doesn't feel relaxed when she's swimming, but that head position is so still, really relaxed, good rotation, good catch. In love the, water. the way her hands reach out. Looks like, look very relaxed. Fast swimming often looks like it's easy. Yeah, but lane four and five have just uh, increased the tempo as we come to the wall, and it's Ellen Blake in lane four, just ahead of Izzy McGrath, with Annabelle Farrington Knight in lane number seven in third place. Again, you can six hundredths of a second separating the first three. Yeah, you can really see how important underwaters are. There was 0 0.06 between the three swimmers, but Izzy just pops up a half a body length ahead because her underwaters are so good. 16-year-old Izzy McGrath in lane number three. Just ahead of the girl in lane number seven, Farrington Knight from Asgard. And in between, in lanes four and five, finishing fast are Blake and O'Neill. Who's gonna get the touch here? It's really close. And it's Farrington Knight in lane seven with a 36-97 split, 111-63. Two tenths ahead of Anya O'Neill in lane five. And there's four girls under 112. That's brilliant swimming, Izzy. Push bound down to fourth. Really, really strong 50. Second 50 from Annabelle there in lane seven. 36 9, the only swimmer to go sub 37 on that second 50 of that 100 back. And that's, the, that's what made the difference for her getting the hand on the wall first in heat four. And moving on to heat five, it's Sophie Nolan from Terenure in lane zero. Katie Kelly from Shark in lane one. Ava Byrne from Slaney in lane two. Dara O'Connor from Glen Alban in lane three. Neve Kennedy from Galway in lane four. Jessica Robson from Lisburn City in lane five. Paige Austin Burrows from Rushmore Royals, which is a, an English club in lane six. Cara Marr from Terenure in seven. Amy Russell from Ballymena in lane eight. And Amy Dawson from Lisburn City in lane number nine. These girls all sub 112. Every single one of them between 111.16 and 111.86. So tight, there's nothing to call it between these girls, so this is why some of these heat, heat races can be really exciting. Youngest in the race is Katie Kelly, the 15-year-old from Shark in lane one. A Couple of 17-year-olds as well. Anybody's race, who's feeling good? Who's got their form? Who makes the best start? It looks like Paige in lane six, our guest from Rushmore over in England. Had a good start there, and she looks like she's leading through this first 50. Paige Austin Burrows in lane six made a good start, but it's in lane eight, Amy Russell with a 34-01. Just ahead of Austin Burrows, Ava Byrne in lane two, and in lane number three, it's Darrow Connor. 0.3 between those two girls, less than 0.3, 0.2 between those girls. 
uh, with 50 to go or with 25 to go at this stage. So neck and neck is this swim past us here between lane six and lane eight. Go in lane eight. eight, it's Amy Russell from Ballymena. In lane number six, it's Austin Burrows from Rushmore. And it looks like the girl from the north is going to get it. Amy Russell, lovely style, right to the end. She gets it with a 36.09 split. Coming back to beat Austin Burrows in lane six. Dara O'Connor in lane three in third place. But a, a really good second 50 from Amy Russell. Yeah. Won her that heat. And a 110-1, that's a second and a half quicker than our entry time. So doing that in a heat swim from lane eight, really impressive. So really, really strong swimming there from Amy Russell from Ballymena Swimming Club. Heat number six of nine, it's Ellie Bingham from Banbridge in lane zero. Kirsty Dunn from Asgard in lane one. Leisha DC from Sunday as well in two. Heather Fain from Dolphin in three. Maeve McLean, City of Derry in four. Antonio Sec from Sunday as well in five. Antonina Sec, I should say. Olivia Miss Kelly from Banbridge in six. Her teammate Elisa Logan in seven. And Shyler Daffy from Brompton in eight. Nine swimmers here. The margins 110.61 to 111.14. Half a second. It's fabulous racing, it really is. Yeah. Guarantees that we've got evenly matched swimmers and uh, makes it really competitive, which is what we want to see. Absolutely. So. Lane three with the best start this time. Heather Fain from Dolphin in the yellow cap. We've seen her in the pool already today, so having a really great meet so far, but it looks like in lane four, Maeve McLean has pulling through slightly ahead uh, with 10 to go in this first 50. And in lane one, Kirsty Dunn from Asgard has also made a, a fairly strong start. Turning first in lane four is Maeve McLean. In second, it's Kirsty Dunn in lane one. Antonina Sec in lane five in third. Heather Fain very close in fourth. Yeah, 32 6 1 split there from Maeve McLean, the City of Derry swimmer. So, swimming really strong. She's got about a body length lead with 25 to go, but it is lane one. Kirsty Dunn from Asgard who's pushing her all the way. It looks like she might actually be. Kirsty Dunn from level. Asgard is the faster stroke, and it's Dunn against Fane for the Heat Honours here, and it looks like Dunn will get it. Yes! Kirsty Dunn with a brilliant second split, 35 46 against McLean's 37 0 5. Antonina Sek gets third place in lane five, and Leisha Leash, DC yeah, a in second, lane two is fourth. A second and a half difference in that second 50 was the difference in making, letting Kirsty get the win in that uh, at 100 back all heat there. She had a little bit of a glide into the finish there, so there's a little bit more time that she can improve on if she's back again for a final this evening. Third last heat in the women's 100 backstroke. It's Ava Bailey from New Ross in lane zero. Louisa Humphreys from Larne in one. Grace Conroy from Lisburn City in two. Danielle Farrow from Sligo in three. Hannah Pierce from Tux, the South African team in lane four. Cora Rooney from Enniskill and Lakelanders in lane five. Aoife Doran from the Erlinga Swimming Club in lane six. Beth Nolan from Sunday's Well in lane seven. Eleonora Marcucci from Italy in lane eight and Callie Walsh from Terenure Swim Club in lane number nine. Nobody in lane two, I see. So Grace Conroy, a non-swimmer. So we'll see a much bigger spread between the swimmers in this race, because this is the first of our uh, seeded heats. So the swimmers, there's a much bigger gap. Seven seconds between the first to lane four, who's Hannah Pierce and the outside lanes. And it is Hannah Pierce who looks like she's leading through the first 50. Anna Pierce, the South African in lane number four. She's the one leading them out, but she's not that far ahead of Cora Rooney in lane five. There you go, just uh, three tenths separating those two. Aoife Doran in lane six and Eleonora Marcucci in lane number eight. So, Hannah Pierce here. Look, she's got a much more bouncier stroke versus Cora Rooney in lane five. Cora Rooney, her head position is so still got nice rotation whereas Hannah Pierce is bouncing through the stroke but she's powerful and she's still pulling away Hannah Pierce our swimmer from Pretoria and it's Pierce who takes them home in a time of 104.11 and she has one and a half seconds to spare over Cora Rooney in lane number five Aoife Doran in six from 
Aer Lingus Swimming Club gets third place and Eleonora Marcucci in fourth. The penultimate heat in the women's 100 metres backstroke. And it's Leah Connell from Athlone in lane zero, Roshi Nirian from Limerick in lane one, Jana Kutze from Tux in two, her teammate Samantha Randall in three, and the third Tux swimmer, Karen Herbst in four. Neve Pountney from Ards in five, Nomi Trait from Kilkenny in six, Shannon Byrne from Bangor in seven, Roisin Lawless from Wexford in eight, and Imogene Sargent from Chelsea and Westminster in lane number nine. Fastest here is Karen Herbst in lane four with a 102.98. The slowest is the girl from Chelsea and Westminster, Imogen Sargent with a 110. So the penultimate heat in the 100 metres backstroke for women. Roshi Irene in lane one is fresh off the 50 breaststroke back in the 100 back goal, which should be one of her favourite events. Um, but a great start in lane four there. From Karen Herbst, the tuck swimmer. Very powerful, fast stroke, stretching away from. In second place, I think it's uh, Nave Pountney from Ards in lane five. Yeah, Best really. Of the Irish swimmers. Really high tempo there from Karen Herbst through that first 50, turning in a 30.80. Good, strong underwaters coming up at 10 meters, and she's like pulling away from the rest of the field now. Really strong performance here from Karen Herbst. Karen Herbst, sorry. What a powerful performance this from the tuck swimmer, Karen Herbst, showing them how it's done. Three, four meters the gap as she heads towards the wall in this 100 meters heat. Her fastest, 102.98. She's looking to beat that. It's going to be close. 102. Oh, just over. 103.65. A fine win for her ahead of Nave Pountney, who had a pretty good split, 34-56 for 106-41. Just ahead of Samantha Randall, the other tuck swimmer, and it's Shannon Byrne in lane number seven, who came through fast with a 34-85 in fourth. Yep, Karen Herbs, the class of that field, a 103-65. She'll be back again this evening, looking to improve on that time. She's entering on a 102-9, so she'll be looking to try and get under that now this evening swimming. The ninth and final heat of the women's 100 metres backstroke. Neva Hearn from Kilkenny in lane zero. Nimoni Rogers from Trojan in lane one. Lee Bailey from New Ross in two. Rebecca Lowe from UCD in three. Maria Gordon from Dun Kilkenny in four. Yena McDougall from UCD Swimming Club in five. Cara O'Toole from Ealing in six. Molly Nolte from Swilly Seals in seven. Isla Henry from the Lisburn City Swimming Club in eight and Mia Whelan O'Connor from ESB in nine. We saw Maria Godden in the 50 back last night, so she's now in the longer 100 back here this morning. She's got really strong underwaters. So does Jenna McDougall in lane five. And it's those two swimmers along with lane seven, Molly Nulty popping up first. But it's Godden the fastest in the heat with 102.26 this year. McDougall has a 104. And McDonald is the one, or Godden rather, is the one who's stretching away as they approach the halfway mark. Yeah. Second place in lane five is Jenna McDougald. Turning in 29.60, Look at Maria those strong Godden. underwaters from Maria and from Jenna McDougald, really utilising them. Love Maria's head position right here. She heads right back, getting a high turn over a high tempo with a race. But this is a really, really strong swimming from Maria Godden here in lane four. Molly, Molly Nulty in lane seven for the Swilly Seals is having a great race with the swimmers in lanes three and two. That's Low and Bailey, but there's no doubt who's going to win this. It's Maria Gordon from Kilkenny, touching in 102.94, fractionally outside her best. Second place for Jenna McDougald with a 33.29 split. Actually, it's better second split, 104.52. And Leah Bailey in lane two was third. It's a very strong second split for Leah Bailey 33-5 she went 106 so she pretty even, pretty much even split that race which is not easy to do but shows really strong pace in there she must have been really controlled through that first 50 came off that wall use her underwaters and then accelerate on that second 50 to even split that 100 back for Leah Bailey okay the attention switches to the boys and the men the 100 meters backstroke heats 
12 of these. We'll be here all day. Don't we love it? 12 heats of 100 backstroke to complete the programme for this first session of three at the National Aquatic Centre, the Irish Summer National Championships for all age groups. And of course, we'll have all the young swimmers coming up somewhere around 12.30 today. All the uh, younger swimmers, 12.20 actually, we're starting with the under 13s and 14 year olds as they swim in the same disciplines. And then the finals will come up this evening at around five o'clock when all of the best of all of these heats will be put together. We'll have the under 13s, 14s, 15s, 16s and so on. Six, seven finals in each category as we try to find who's going to get the golds, silvers and bronzes. OK, it's the first heat of these 12 in the 100 metres backstroke and this opening heat has Scott McIver in lane one for Lee, Zach Holmes from Celtic Waves in two, Alan Vaughan from Marlins in three, Jake Logan from Banbridge in four, Kieran Watterson from Bluefin in five, Mark Cormican from Bluefin in six, Kyle Kelly in seven, and Paul Trichter from New Ross in eight. Looks like lane two, Alan Vaughan from Maryland Swimming Club got the best start here to the first 25 metres, but lane three. Lane six had a good start too, yes. Mark Cormican. It's really tight across these five middle lanes. See who, who turns first here at the 50. Jake Logan not with the best of starts, though he has the fastest time coming into this, so maybe his second 50 is going to be impressive, we'll see. But it's lane number six in the lead, Mark Cormican. He's really pulling away on this second 50. It was tight at the 50 metre mark, but he's really pulling away now. He's almost got a two metre, two body length lead on the rest of the field here, and he looks like there's no stopping him. Lane number five in second place is Kieran Waterson from Bluefin. But taking this first heat is lane number six, Mark Cormican, the 15-year-old from Blue Finn. 110.92 was his best. 1.512 that is, is a his big, new big best performance. Five, five seconds. seconds. Five seconds over 100 metres is a big, big drop. And he looked really controlled on that first 50, but pulled away from the rest of the field on that second 50. So a really, really strong race from him. A 33.2 second 50 in a 105. Not quite a negative split, but pretty close to an even split right there, which is a strong way to swim 100 back roll. And we have Paul Treisler in lane eight. He was a para-athlete. He was swimming in the 50 breaststroke not that long ago. So doubling up from the 50 breaststroke to 100 back. Two very different events, but not easy. So impressive performances from Paul from New Ross. We're just waiting for the Paralympian to finish this first heat. Out there in lane number eight, it's Paul Trichner. Has a best of 234.54. Let's see if he can get under that 234 marker um, as he's coming in now with 10 meters to go. So when you've got those double events, you've got a 50 breaststroke and a 100 back roll with maybe 20 minutes, half an hour in between them. What the swimmers will do is they'll be getting into that swim down hill, swimming off, trying to get rid of that lactic acid as much as possible. And here he comes. And Trichter touches the wall in 2.29.91. Five second improvement on his personal best. Milestones for everybody today. Heat number two then of the 100 meters. And in lane zero, it's Jamie Flynn from the Splash World Sharks. Lane number one is Charlie Brennan from Asgard Swimming Club. Lane two, Seamus Carroll from Lisburn City. Fionn Nugent in lane three for Asgard. Killian Langton from Sligo Swimming Club in lane number four. Shea Monaghan from Riversdale Otters in five. Daniela Tedesco from Ealing Swimming Club in lane six. Killian McCullough from Galway in lane seven, Marcus Bo Brown, Bowen sorry, from Kilkenny in lane eight, and Luke Wynn from Trojan in lane number nine. And all of these guys around the 109 mark, the best 109.12, the slowest 110.37. And it looks like we don't have a summer in lane three, Fionn Nugent, uh, not swimming in this race, so we have eight, nine summers in this second heat of the boys 100 backstroke. So they're on their marks and ready to go in this heat two of 12 in the 100 metres backstroke for boys. 
And that start so important and first into his stroke was in lane number eight, Marcus Bowen from Kilkenny. And yeah. a great start too in lane number one by Charlie Brennan from Asgard. Strong starts from those two guys. You have to make sure when you're doing that back goal that you don't go too deep, that back goal start. You don't go too deep because it's just too long to get back up to the surface of the water again. Killian McCulloch in lane seven for Galway is also swimming very powerfully in this opening 50. And as they come to the turn, it is McCulloch from Galway ahead of Daniela Tedesco in lane six. Luke Wynn in lane nine is third and Shay Monaghan in fourth, but there's only two tenths between the first four. Yeah, very tight race here. It's anyone's, anyone's game in this second 50. Looks like the race has happened over the far side of the pool between lanes five all the way out to lane nine. Lane six with the edge just ahead of lane seven. So that's uh, Tedesco just ahead of McCulloch. As they come to the wall with five minutes to go, the man with the white cap looks like he's gonna get it if he can just get the touch right. And he does, Tedesco in lane six. Just what, 1800s ahead of Killian McCulloch with Luke Wynn, half a second behind Marcus Bowen in fourth. Yeah, really impressive swimming. 107 versus 109 entry times, or 1010 entry times for some of those boys. So that's a really strong second, two second improvement on entry times. So strong swimming from all those boys there. I like the backstroke, it gives us a chance to talk through all the names, not have to rush so much, but hey. A little bit slower pace compared to some of the 50s or the 100 freestyles. It's a little bit slower getting the swimmers out of the water. Um, Here's the uh, third heat then, and it's Darren Yalnazov from Kilkenny in lane zero. Elias Soans from Hamilton, Dubai in lane one. Luke Woolley from Claremonis in two. Dominic French from Sligo in three. Erdos Pokovicius from St. Felix in four. Marcus O'Rahalik from Aer Lingus in five. Thomas Price from Lisburn in six. Toby Baker from Ealing in seven. Dara Hughes from Mullingar Jets in eight. And Ricky Fain from Dolphin in nine. All of these guys, 108. Good underwaters there in lane two from Luke Woolley from Claremore Swimming Club, the blue hat. Looks like he might be just in the lead, but Elias Sohn from Hamilton Aquatics is also right there, as is lane six, Thomas Price from Lisbon Swimming Club. Yeah, lane two stretching away, Luke Woolley from Claire Morris, the 16 year old. And he turns first in the 30.86, just 15 hundredths, or five, actually a second ahead of Elias Sones with Thomas Price in third. Yeah, and he's really powering through this second 50, Luke Woolley here. He's really using his legs. He was strong off the wall, using those underwaters. And with 15 meters to go, no one's gonna catch him here. Luke Woolley with a best of 108.61. He is gonna beat that, that's for sure. In lane number one, it's Elias Sones in second place. Lane three, Mark Gallard will probably get third. Woolley in 104.65, Sones in second. Dominic French in lane three gets third place. And it's Pokovicius in lane number four, who's fourth? That's almost a four seconds faster than his entry time for Luke Woolley. 104.65, really strong performance there. He had a nice little nod of the head, so he's obviously happy with that swim. Heat number four. And we've got Ayur Maxim Maximov from Hamilton, Dubai in lane zero. Matt O'Sullivan from Trojan in lane one. Mark Galland from Sunday's Well in two. Jack Carrick from Limerick in three. Leo Liu from Limerick in four. Killian O'Loughlin Brophy from Coolmine in five. David Killen from Clonmel in six. James McDonald from the Kilkenny Swimming Club in seven. John Patton from Galway in lane eight. And Arthur Johnson from Kilkenny in lane number nine. So all, all of these swimmers, it's 107 or 108. There is less than a sec second separating all 10 of these swimmers. So really could be anyone's race right here again. Where they go, two lengths of the pool. And it's in lane number six with the red hat. David Killen who made a good start, but the fastest is lane number one. Matt O'Sullivan from Trojan. Yeah, he's having a really strong start, Matt O'Sullivan from Trojan. Mark Galland in lane number two, also swimming very powerfully. Those three look to have the lead in this opening 50. Turning first is O'Sullivan with a 
a second ahead of Mark Galland and David Killen in third. Yeah, Matt O'Sullivan has a second lead after first 50 right there, so see if he can keep powering through this second 50. Got a really, really strong kick going. It's constant kick, keeping him moving forward, getting that turnover with his, with his arm cycle and uh, keeping a good steady head position as well. Matt O'Sullivan, the 17-year-old, with a best of 108.0 through. He's going to get the heat in second place. Will be in lane two, Mark Galland. 104 to three, he's three seconds under his best. Mark Galland also improving his best. Jack Carrick in third in lane three. And David Killen in fourth. Yeah, all three of those guys faster than their entry times. So which is all you can ask for in a heat swim and they'll be hoping to make it back for finals to get a second crack to see if they can go faster again. Here's heat number five, Daniel Beggs from Larne in lane zero, Louis Maguire from Brefney in lane, in lane one, Oshin Tabita from the NAC in two, Cormac Rin, Rin from Trident in three, Cormac Farron from Bangor in four, Dara Horgan from Limerick in five, Michael Hussey from Galway in six, Senan Harvey from Mallow in seven, Patrick Bui, Bui, is it Bui? From Bui. the NAC in eight, and Jack Delaney from Clare Morris in lane number nine. We're into the 106 107 brigade now. Yep, 0 0.06 between all of these nine swimmers, ten swimmers. Uh, so again, could come from anywhere in this race. We saw lane one uh, in the last race, so watch out for anyone in this, in this heat five. Good start in lane number two from Oshin to beat. And also in lane number one, it's Louis Maguire from Brefney. Over on the far side with the white cap in lane number seven, it's Senan Harvey who's made a good start. And the one in lane number six is Michael Hussey from Galway. Oshin to beat looks really strong on this first 50. He's like quite relaxed, quite a low stroke rate, powerful, connected. So we'll see if he has saved some energy with the second 50. Four sub 32s as to beat leads out from Hussey Harvey and Maguire. 25 to go. Slow, elegant stroke of Ushin to beat. Just marginally ahead. Michael Hussey from Galway, of second. Michael Hussey, yeah, in, uh, from Galway. And just beside him, Senan Harvey in third. But to beat will just get the touch with uh, 0.45 of a second to spare over Michael Hussey with Senan Harvey in third. Yeah. Less than a second between the top three, Jack Delaney came in fourth. Yeah, strong swimming there from Ocean to beat the NAC swimmer. He looked really controlled in that first 50. I was watching his rate, I was like quite impressed with it. And I was like, he's gonna have a little bit of a kick on this second 50. And he did enough to be able to get his hand on the wall first there in that heat five of 12. Here's heat number six. And it's Killian Murphy from Swilly Seals in lane zero, Robert Mullen from Temple Oak in one, Oshin McNichol from Ballymena in two, Niall McGowan from Banbridge in three, Alexander Newman from Bangor in four, Connor Donohoe from Castle Bar in lane number five, Martin Fila from Coleraine in six, Sean Bugler from Sunday's Well in seven, Dara Rusk from Athlone in eight, and Rory Davis from Swim Belfast in lane number nine. All of these swimmers entered on a 106, so really could go anywhere in this race. This is where it's exciting in these morning heats. Got really tight races. Swimmers are really close together and all it takes is someone to have a good swim, drop a second, drop half a second, and they're right up there for getting their hand on the wall first in the heats. So who's gonna get the best crucial start in this 100 meters backstroke for men? Very quickly into his stroke there was lane six, Martin Fila. And also going well in the red hat in lane number three is Niall McGowan from Banbridge. Yeah, all of these swimmers are really tight. It's almost a line the whole way across the pool. So it could go anyway. Who has left that little bit of energy to kick in the second 50? But it looks like Martin Fia from in lane six is going to touch first. Turning first is Martin Fila with a 30-62. Half a second to spare over Niall McGowan in lane three. Connor Donoghue a fraction back in third. It does look like Martin has got control of this race right now, but lane three, Niall McGowan from Banbridge is challenging hard. So is Conor Donoghue from Castle Bar in lane five. Martin Fela stretching out. He's going to get the heat, but it's very close between lane five, Conor Donoghue, 
and lane number three, Niall McGowan for second place. Vila McGowan Donohue, that's how it finished. Look at the gap, three hundredths between second and third. But no doubt about the winner, half a second to spare for Martin Fila in lane number six. Yeah, really tight across the board there. Five swimmers, all swimming 105 right there. So really, really tight race there. And all of those 105s beating their season's best. That's all, all in the 106s. That's all you can ask for in a heat of an event like this is come in, swim faster than your swam all year, and then hope you can get a second swim to try and go again. So heat number seven now, we're down to the 105s. From 105.66 to 105.94, only three tenths, three four tenths of a second separating this whole group. Michael McCann from Ards in lane zero. Aaron Morgan from Ealing in lane one. Alexander McAleer from Galway in lane two. Evan McCabe from Tala in three. Matthew Moran from Banbridge in four. Philip Delange from Tuck South Africa in lane five. Aidan Mallet from Lisburn in six. Adrian Wong from Trojan in seven. James Woolley from Clare Morris in eight. And Fionn Byrne from the NAC in lane number nine. Here they go, two lengths of the pool. Great start in lane number five. Yep. And the first one into his stroke was Philip Delange from Tux. The 18 year old from Tux there, definitely the most powerful off the blocks there, using his strength, using his power. Got a really high tempo, high rate swimming through this first 50. Aaron Morn from Ealing looks to be in second place. And a good swimming in the blue cap over on the far side in lane number eight by James Woolley from Clare Morris. Turning first to launch, 28-10, 30-42 for Woolley and 30-50 for Morgan in lane one with Fionn Byrne over on the far side in yeah. 31. Really, really strong swimming here from Philip DeLang in lane, in lane five. He's driving home on this second 50. His rate has dropped a little bit from that first 50, so maybe went out a little bit too strong, but he still looks really strong as he's coming into the last 10 metres here. Lanes one and eight for second place. It's uh, Aaron Morgan against James Woolley for second place in the heat, but no doubt that Delange gets the win. 59-33, the first sub win minute we've seen. 103-53 for Aaron Morgan in lane one. Adrian Wong in lane seven came with a really fast second split. 33-43 to just head James Woolley, who was pushed down to fourth. 59-33 is a really strong performance. First swimmer to some sub-60 in this men's boys, men, boys and men's 100 back. Uh, I wonder if he was entered maybe on a wrong time because a 105 to a 59 is a very, very big drop for an 18-year-old swimmer like Philip there. I get your drift. Heat 8 of 12. We're getting there. Get Five heats away from the break, but this heat 8, it's all 105 times. And it's Owen Rin from Trident in lane 0, Ben Merrigan from Dolphin in 1. Dmitry Zykov from Porter Down in two. Jacob Martin from Swim Belfast in three. Jack McGann from Trojan in four. Noah Switzer from Dolphin in five. Rory Boyd from Kingdom Swimming Club in Kerry in six. Ray O'Shea from ESB in seven. Christian Nyland from NAC in eight. And Dara Ronan from Enniskin and Lakelanders in lane number nine. Here we go. Two lengths of the pool. Heat number eight. And first to his stroke was over in lane number nine, maybe too soon, but in lane number eight, a really good start for Christian Nyland of the local NAC club. Yeah, really good start there in lane eight, but it's so hard to separate all of these boys across the pool, all 105 entry times, and you really see that now. Impossible to separate them here, but it looks like Jack maybe began from four. Trojan in yep. the green cap. He's done a, a really good first 50. Turns in 29.80 ahead of Jacob Martin in lane three and Christian Nyland in lane number eight in third. Yeah, strong second second part of that first 50 there from Jack McGann and he's holding on to that lead. He has maybe a half a body length on lane three who's Jacob Martin but also out there in lane eight is Christian yeah, Nyland from the National seven and eight. Center. The style of the lad in lane number seven, Ray O'Shea, might be unusual, but he's powerful and he's moved up to second place. But the win will go in lane four to Jack McGann of Trojan. Ray O'Shea gets second place with a 33-18 split. And it's Christian Nyland with a 33-93 who drops to third in lane eight with Noah Switzer in lane five in fourth. Yeah, Ray O'Shea there, really strong second 50. Like you mentioned, has that little bounce in his stroke, but a really strong 33-1 is a strong second 50. So big performance from him to get his hand on the wall second, but the clear winner was Jack McGann, the Trojan swimmer in lane four. Moving to heat number nine, 
swimmers between the times of 103 and 104. And in lane zero, it's Michele Zucchini from Italy, Artem Chabot in lane one for Titans, David Pau in lane two for Port Marnock, Dylan Regist again from Lisbon City in lane three, Jericho Balgos from Larne in lane four, Riccardo Antonelli from Italy in lane number five, Adam Mahan from Le Cali Swimming Club in lane six, Dara Morgan from Coolmine in seven, Harry Winston from Aer Lingus in eight, and Liam Og Mathers from Bambridge in nine. And you might just tell us where Le Cali Swimming Club comes from. That's one I haven't heard of. I don't know that either. Le Cali Swimming Club. We'll have to find that we'll one out we'll during the break. Yeah, that's one we'll find out and come back to. Um, but yeah, Dylan Regis is back in the water again. I think understanding that it's really hard to step up back-to-back -back swims and understanding that you need to get in that swim down pool, recover as much as you can, flush that lactic acid out of your system as much as you can in between races so that how you do you do that so you see all the swimmers in the back pool there you can't see them on the screen but behind that board behind where the swimmers are starting there's a 25 meter diving pool which the swimmers are in and they will swim down for 20 minutes half an hour 40 minutes depending on how they feel i would have always swam eight to 800 meters to 1200 meters uh, little sprints in there to try and flush out that lactic acid in your system it's all hard work to me, <laughs> but it's a fantastic commitment from all of these swimmers. 850 plus competing this week in just about every discipline imaginable and uh, over 100 clubs represented in what's a, a real festival of swimming for the entire country and beyond. Ten countries represented here this week. So here we go with uh, heat number nine of 12. And away they go. And who's going to be the first to rise? First to the stroke in lane number six was Adam Mahan, but uh, the fastest start from lane four and three, Balgos very, and uh, Regist. Very little separating these guys down this first 50. Maybe lane eight. Harry Winston might just be edging ahead at this stage, but it's really tight across the board here. Yes, Winston first in a 30.03. Four tenths ahead of Dara Morgan in seven with Balgos in lane four in third place. Four of them under 31 seconds. And it is Harry still ahead. He's got maybe half a body length ahead of the rest of the field, but all these rest of these guys are going to be charged and it looks like lane four. Jericho Balgos from Larne is pushing hard, but Harry Winston is holding on to the lead here. The Arlingus swimmer, the 17-year-old, Looks like he's going to touch the wall first. Can he get there? 102, 96. Just ahead of Artem Shabbat in lane one, Adam Mahan in lane six, and Dara Morgan in lane seven. And as has been customary so far in these backstroke heats for boys, you don't know where the wind's coming from. No, it's really hard to tell from our position from the angle here when you're getting in to those last 10 metres. It's really tight between those swimmers and it's so hard to call it, but really exciting racing for sure. 102 to 107 the times there. We're moving on now to heat number 10 of 12. This brings and us it's Michael Kyo from the Terranura Swimming Club in lane zero. Daniel Edgar from Lisburn in one. Jonathan Heslop from Tux in two. Matthew Walsh Hussey in lane three for the NAC. For the Millfield School, David O'Loughlin in four. Jano Dos Santos from Tux in five. Ewan McLeod from ESB in six, Rory Lee from Sunday's Well in seven, Mehmet Zeran in eight, and Rahayam Tolba from Hamilton, Dubai in nine. Five of these swimmers from abroad. Yeah, this is into now the first of our seeded heats, so we see a bit more of a spread from 58 to 102 or 103s here in the outside lanes. So we'll be really looking at the, ins the middle lanes to see how fast they can go here. And it's in lane number four with the green hat, Jano Dos Santos, the tux swimmer, who's made the best start. And just to his right is Jano Dos Santos. Sorry, he's in lane five. It's David O'Loughlin, sorry, the Millfield school swimmer, who's the strongest down lane four. It does look really tight coming into this 50. It might be just Jano Dos Santos from Tux getting the touch, but no, it's not. It's actually Matthew Walsh, Matthew Walsh Hussey, the NAC swimmer who got the touch there. 
But great Just two hundredths the gap. Yeah, but a great turn from Gianna De Santos. He uses underwaters to pull ahead of the two swimmers to his right. And he's now maybe got a half a body length a hit lead. But Matthew Walsh Hussey is pushing, pushing him the whole way. Dos Santos looks like he'll get the heat. But in lane number three, it's Walsh Hussey, the 18-year-old from the NAC, who's going to get second place. And over on the far side in lane number eight, it was Mehmet Zerin with a 31.64 who edged out Daniel Edgar and Rory Lee to get third. Yeah, and two swimmers swimming sub 60. We had one swimmer swim sub 60 in an earlier heat, so we have three men swim sub 60 right now. We'll see if we can get a few more swimmers under that 60 second barrier in these next two heats. As you say, these are the seeded heats, so there's a bigger disparity between the times, and generally it's the swimmers in the center of the pool who will have the time advantage coming in, but doesn't mean they'll produce it on the day. Here's the penultimate heat then, heat 11, Daniel Mulholland from Lisburn City in zero, Cormac Donnellan from Glenalbin in one, Evan Coulter from Larne in two, Philip Duda from Longford in three, Adam Barnes from Ards in four, Brandon Biss from Swim Belfast in five, Callum Ashton from UCD in six, Senan Noonan from Aer Lingus in seven, Maxim Dovbush from the Czech Republic in eight, and Emmett Cousins from New Ross in nine. And Adam Barnes with the fastest here, 57.96. Yeah, Adam is definitely the, the fastest qualifier, or the fastest entry into this field. And he pops up first there at about 12 meters, and he already has about a half a body length lead. So Adam Barnes is the one to watch in this, in this 100 back. Just ahead of the swimmer to his right, Brendan Biss from Swim Belfast. Good start too from the swimmer out in lane number eight. That's uh, Maxim Dovbush from the Czech Republic. Turning first then in lane four, Adam Barnes. In lane number five, it's Brandon Biss and Dovbush in lane number eight in third with Philip Duda in fourth. A 27-9-4 split there from Adam Barnes. Looking really strong, really controlled here. He's got a nice high tempo, nice strong kick, keeping a good he steady head position uh, as he's coming through with 15 meters to go. But Biss is doing well. The 17-year-old uh, from Belfast really pushing him all the way. These are the two 60 sub-60 swimmers in the race and they've proven their pedigree. 58-46, 59-20. May not have broken their personal bests, but under a minute they'll be pleased and Maxim Dovbush just over a minute in third. Both of those swimmers, Adam and Brandon, coming back in a 30.5, both of them, but Adam had done enough over that first 50 to have that lead, to get that touch and to win that heat 11 of this boys 100 backstroke. So this is the final heat of the morning session. We started at 8.45, I've no idea what time it is now. At quarter past 11. There you go almost bang on time scheduled for 11.02 we're about 10 minutes behind but here we go the runners and riders for the final heat Christopher Mason in lane 0 from Lakali and it's Kynan Telek Bottas in lane 1 for Brompton Aaron Keating from Cormorant in lane 2 Luke Lonergan from UCD in 3 Connor Ferguson from Larne in 4 John Short from Bluefin in 5 a couple of Dolphin swimmers in 6 and 7 Nettie Irwin and Charlie Casty, Aidan Cook from Kilkenny in eight, and Finlay Wright in nine. Fastest here, Connor Ferguson, 55.40. We can see he's actually not here, he's not entered, he's not in the water, so there's an empty lane in lane four. So, but first up, it looks like it's the UCD swimmer, John Short, or not UCD, Blue sorry. Finn. Luke Lonergan from UCD had the best start there, but John Short is pulling ahead now in lane five. John Short with a season's best of 58.63. Let's see, he'll probably turn him well under 30. And he has 28.18 for John Short. Could break the minute, should, should break the minute from there. Luke Lonergan in second in lane three. And Charlie Casty in lane seven is third. Great underwaters there from John Short. He ducked out, went 11 meters with six or seven fly kicks. So really utilizing, maximizing that, saving energy and conserving that speed. So he's really pulling away from the rest of the field here in lane five. Short is gonna win it, but who's gonna get second? It looks like lane three, Luke Lonergan from UCD, just marginally ahead of uh, Cassidy in lane seven. Short gets it, 58.45. Luke Lonergan, 101.04, and Charlie Cassidy in lane seven with a 31.87 split, 101.28, edging out Kynan Telekbotis. Yeah, a strong swim there from 
John Short, 58.45 is faster than his seeded time, so... We're having there from an John unscheduled Short. swim off here, which we'll get information about on the big screen shortly. A couple of swimmers in lanes four and five. I would imagine this would be the women's 100 freestyle from the first event of the session. There must have been a, a tie for a final position, so they'll be having a, a, a swim off to see who gets that final spot later this evening. To be honest with you, I can't remember which one, but I remember we did have a tie. That in one heat, but there's been so many. Yeah, it could be across different ages, or it could be across different heats as well. I'm hoping they're going to put the information up on the big screen. These are just, what they're showing on the big screen at the moment are just the times the in order of uh, the finishers in that last the event, the yeah. boys and men's 100 meters backstroke. So I, it, once they've gone through that, it could either it's either going to be a women's hundred freestyle or a women's two hundred fly. Here we but go. My it's money Jessica is the Robson freestyle. and Jessica Robson in lane four from Lisburn, and Ava Byrne in lane number five. So this will be a swim off for the sixteen-year-old final, and a swim off here for the well, as Nick said, sixteen-year-old final, and it's hundred meters freestyle, two lengths of the pool. Let's see who can do it here. She got Ava Byrne. Slaney, from Slaney Sharks in lane 5 and Jessica Robson from Lisburn. It looks like the Lisburn swimmer in lane 4 has got the lead going through the first 25 metres but let's see how it plays out as they go through the turn. Sharks in blue and Lisburn in red. Lane 4 looks like Robson has the edge as she comes to the turn. Yeah. 30 20 to 30 47, nothing in it. Jessica Robson has the touch, but Ava Byrne was catching her into the wall right there. But it looks like Jessica had a little bit of a better turn. But Ava Byrne is charging really hard. Swim off is all about going head to head. The times don't matter, it's about getting that hand to the wall, getting that final place. So here we go with 15 They're to neck go. and neck coming past us with 15 meters to go. What an extraordinary race. Most of the crowd have stayed and there's a great crescendo of noise in the stadium as we hear what's happening here. Who's going to get it? You can't tell. Up to the touch. Ah! Oh, it was Robson by 15 hundredths of a second. Well, you got to feel for Ava Byrne because she gave everything there, but so too did Robson. And by the merest margin, she goes into the final. Yeah, the race. absolutely. And credit goes to Jessica Robson there. I actually think the skills made the difference. She had a better start. She was leading to 25. Ava was catching her on the second 25. Looked like she'd caught her by the 50. But Jessica, again, had better around the walls, better underwaters, pulled away. And then Ava was charging again on that second 50. So really good racing from both of those girls. And it looks like skills won the day for Jessica. Yeah, but really Ava strong with from Ava. Slightly Byrne better as well. split, but uh, lose, losing out by 15 hundredths. Fantastic end to the morning swimming. I'm sure you'd agree. For all of you who've been watching, I hope you've enjoyed our coverage here from the National Aquatic Centre. Please put your hands together as well for all the officials, for all the stewards, and for all of the mums and dads who take their kids swimming because Absolutely. they do amazing work. Yeah, this the sport backbone. is thriving and it's great to see. We'll be back at 12.45 for the second session, the 13 and 14 year olds.